Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Night Warfare. But it's not regular Wednesday Night Warfare. It is Wednesday Night Warfare during Waterloo Week. And that makes it excellent. It is the 16th of June, 2021, which means it is specifically Katra Bra Day. So that is so that is really super cool and all excellent. Um, it is in, it is a great pleasure and a privilege to be able to play games. We decided for the kickoff for Waterloo Week of our events here that we would go back and do something that uh, we talked about doing at the very first time we visited these rules. We are going to play the Battle of Waterloo, but we're not going to do it using some old dusty system. We're going to play it using a new system. And not only that, we're going to play it with a new system in the company uh, and under the careful guidance of the game's author, Mr. Boyd Bruce, how are you, sir, this evening? I'm splendiferous, and I appreciate you guys having me on board. Now, this is so cool, because we're going to, you know, I am I am almost certain to reduce my natural propensity to screw up rules to near zero, if only because we, we have let uh, Mr. Bruce get himself a hand, a literal hand, in the game. But uh, before he says anything, he's probably already <laughs> tweeted it out. I have to get a tweet out so that uh, Ron doesn't beat me to it. Uh, look at the chat. Son of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, I just knew it would probably go that way. So here I go. And I jump over to Wizard Warfare. That's a strange picture it would have. But that's okay. That's okay. And yeah, Twitter. There, there, there it is. I, I knew it would be something like that. Uh, started 90, you beat it within 93 seconds. Well done. All right, so, Waterloo week is under. I gotta, I gotta it's not fair it. to you because I actually waited for you to put the, the YouTube thing up so I could click on it real quick. So, <laughs> absolute. That's quotation marks. I gotta do quotation marks. Raised by wolves. It's weird looking at Waterloo with just divisions. It is. No, and that's it's it's one of the things that Absolute Emperor does. And like I say, if you don't accept the level of abstraction, that's fine. But if you do, it really does get you thinking about how games can be a little bit different. I, I, I enjoy well, that. Yeah, thinking about the fact that each one of these, there's between two and four battalions in there, and they're trained to work as the division. So uh, it's kind of an interesting idea of, of, yeah, I'll be interested to see how, if if it, in my mind, how a division should work, if it if it works in this. Sure. It'll no, that's fair. And uh, that's, that's why, so, but let's talk about the crew that we've got here. We have, I'm going to surprise absolutely no one who watches our videos, usually in the seat of Napoleon I, Emperor of the French. We have Dalinor. Mary of France. Ah, there he is. And joining him, we have the inimitable Red Sax on the French side. How are you, Red? I'm fine. How are you guys? Doing well, I think. Doing well. Over there in the big chair for the Allies, we have Jeff, War1221. Good evening. Glory to Britain. Oh, there it is. And of course, the man, the otter himself, we have Velker. How are you, buddy? We're off road nosy. Oh, very good. <laughs> wow. There, there it is. There it is. So, as, uh, as Jeff pointed out, these are divisions. These are big, big units, which is why the whole of the battle fits relatively comfortably. Uh, you know, everybody talks about Waterloo being such a packed battlefield, but it actually fits pretty well on this 6x4 table. And because it is a ritual we do, I will prove to you, yes, it is a six <laughs> by four table. A little bit bigger. I like to give it a little room. I love the video that Brent put I, out. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, if you are if you don't know what these gentlemen are talking about, uh, a, uh, a friend of ours from the Armchair Dragoons forums posted an edited version of the uh, video in which we, yeah, got the scale really, really wrong. And it's uh, and he doesn't give it away. I love it. You have to watch the entire thing to the end because he doesn't give it away. I love it. No, you really, really, yeah, you don't. So, um, but let's let's get let's get underway, as it were. Um, the way that this game plays is actually very, very aggressive and and quick moving. I did take a look at the scenario and I determined that y'all that the uh, French are going to have twelve turns, twelve turns to achieve their victory. Why? 
There's a you there's a group of units that are nowhere on this table, and those are the Prussians. This is this I think is becoming a more common consensus as to how we ought to do Waterloo games, which is to say by the time the Prussians arrive, the game is up for the French. It's done. So the question is, can the French beat the Allies, beat the British and their allies before the Prussians arrive? So that's what we're doing here. And they've got 12 turns to do it. The key units here, the key elements, are these core commanders. They all have their nice bases. They are the heart of the command system that, uh, that Mr. Bruce de has developed here, that boys developed for our use. Um, I looked ahead and I determined that all the British units, all of them, are on defend orders at game start. So, gotta find all my core commanders. And obviously, Boyd, if I do anything amiss, you shout, please. We got the it, if I catch it, I'll tell you. All right. Is who's com commanding I, the reserves? Is that Wellington himself? Uh, there's, there's going to be a, there'll be a discussion about that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's, I, I'm, uh, I'm just giving out. I think I've got. That's everybody, right? One, two, three. Yep. You'll notice. And the other thing is, there's not, they're not very thick on the ground, right? I mean, it's, it's interesting. So, so there's a lot of stuff like that. Um, da, 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 da. So here we go. Rael and Derlon are on attack orders. Wow. By the way, these lovely markers done by my bride. I love them. Do, uh, da, 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 da. Attack. Attack. I sent you a message, Red, in our team chat. Yeah, I got it. And we further find no, out that Lobau is on hold three orders. The way we're going to do hold orders, and we'll talk about what they are, is we're going to use these nice counters because it does matter what how many turns of hold that they're doing. Where have I parked? Where did history, in fact, park Lobau? I think that's him right there. Yep. If you see one of those, you know it's a hold, and it's on hold three. We'll talk about what that means. Everybody okay. else, who I think comes to... You got to... Um, so just just point of order. Uh, uh, either cavalry reserve is activated before turn six. It costs the commander one to land. So... The, um, Milhoud and Kellerman are on hold six, essentially. Oh, okay. Let me throw that right on there. That, that's part of the Napoleon rule. Love it. And I actually got a question about this, I think, right on your own uh, Facebook page, where people asked if there was going to be some restriction that way, and it certainly seems like there is. So there's that hold yeah. going on. All right, have I given everybody... Oh, that's, there's Lobos hold, good. There's Derlon, yes. There's Rael, yes, excellent. So let's talk very, before we get into the rules themselves, let's talk about uh, the victory conditions. Again, it's a 12. Guys, a, I have a phone call I gotta take. All right, it's a 12 turn game. Uh, the Duke of Wellington, unlike some of the other commanders, he gets 18 inches of move. He's very, very mobile, makes good sense. And he, he doesn't have any Elan though. Correct, the two main commanders they okay yeah they don't if if and correct me if i'm wrong here uh boy but these the, the uh, main commanders the the army commanders they're not the ones with elan it's the core commanders correct um so core commanders have a lawn and they're they expend it or they gain it as as you say the in this particular scenario napoleon and wellington both have troops reserved directly under them and they can activate them, and there are specific rules for activating the guard in here, what number you need to roll. Wellington just needs to roll an activation for the troop, as long as they're within command. Mm -hmm. But they're, he's using the archaic command structure, which means that once a division or a battery or a, a cavalry yeah, a division or a battery has received an order, it will continue on that order itself 
uh, until it gets countermanded or uh, it, you know, runs into trouble. So the point being, those guys you were asking about, Jeff, they're considered to be on reserve. They're sitting there until they're activated using a successful activation roll by Wellington. Okay. And he's got to be 12 inches from them in order to do that. This road running from Hougamont to La Haisant constitutes the, it's a crest, it's a ridge. Any unit behind there is considered on a reverse slope, which restricts the effectiveness of even canister French fire. Hougamont is a fortress, which is obviously going to have some effect. And only Napoleon can activate the Imperial Guard or either cavalry reserve, reserve under Milo or Kellerman. He can only activate two guard infantry divisions together because he is reluctant to send in the guard. Before turn eight, he must roll a six to activate them. Drouot remains with the guard and acts as their corps commander once activated. Napoleon can activate the artillery or the cavalry of the guard separately from infantry using a five activation roll. If any guard are activated without the infantry, they must be assigned to another core, which gives that core one Elan. And if, as was said earlier, if any cavalry reserve is activated before turn six, bear that in mind, French people, it costs that core commander one Elan. And Elan is a very precious resource. In fact, how precious is it? It's one of the ways we deter. It, it is the way we determine who it is that is going first. Uh, we we go through there because whoever has the most Elan, they get certain advantages. Rael with his three, Kellerman with his three, and Derlon with his three. Well, math tells you that's nine. But they also get to add Lobau three, twelve, Milo fifteen, and Drew nineteen. So total of nineteen. Wellington has two, four, nine. So obviously the French are going to be the ones that are in possession of Alan Initiative. We have our, uh... nope, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. The turn phases are very simple and they're outlined right here. Command, movement, shooting, charges, and combat. Notice, and this is something that really struck me, movement and charges are distinct from one another. And a lot of times, those charges are things you got to do whether you like it or you don't. All right? Your movement is over here. Formation change is at the beginning of movement and is free. And your movement is then determined based on the formation you find yourself in. Uh, formations should be pretty obvious to you. For our infantry... This right, in, and again, we'll. Uh, I want to refer to this chart. We have line, column, and march column. This is column. Line. March. I think you're all pretty pretty familiar with that. So is that so basically is that a, an attack column? I would say. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. However, I, however, in my mind, column and attack column are two different things. And they are. And they are. Okay. I will tell you this. Bear this in mind before you move your first figure. Make one single assumption. And this is something that Velker puts a question mark over, given all the games he's played with us. Attack column is not as effective one-to-one -one in melee as line. It has efficiencies, it's more maneuverable than, than, than line is, it's faster, it's more flexible, but in melee, it is not as effective. Please bear in mind as you... Well, there, there's, Go ahead. Please. There is a caveat to that. Yes, yes. Um, French in attack column, uh, they hit with an additional 2d6 on their first charge rather than the traditional 1d6 everyone else does. And you give them that in 18... So, you know, that's a good question. <laughs> I, just as soon as it came out of my mouth, I was like, oh my God, did I? All right. Cer certainly in 18... So, yeah. 1805, I'd say, yeah, but uh, I, I didn't know. 
even 1807, but boy, oh, yeah, once yeah, you get yeah. past you know, 18, 1807, yeah. time after Seven. 1813, yep. I'm wondering. So they are, they, yeah, my bad. Yep, that all stopped after uh, 12. So <clears throat> it is true that with, a char with the charge bonus, there are three dice to the lines, four dice. But I think an important tactical uh, thing to consider is you could put two columns into a single line. Yes. That's yes. actually how um, Duro uh, busted through Bagration last weekend at Bordino. So every core commander has one to six of land points, and I've, I've written them right down on there. This is an expendable resource, okay? And there is a chance that you can lose it, depending on what happens in combat, but we'll get there. But what can you use your Alan for? You can re-roll an activation roll when you need one. You don't always need one. You can recover a single unit, one status step. Units go from fresh to halted to disordered, and you can recover one of those steps. And you can change the order of a unit. You can also re-roll one attack in the shooting or combat phase. You may not voluntarily reduce your Elan to below one. You must Once you're on your last Elan, you're, uh, you're hanging out there, and you got to be pretty darn careful. All right? So, are there ways to change your order without using a long? There are not. Okay. You must you must spend a long to be because the idea is you're on these orders and these games are as you can see you're fighting in a phone booth, Stop. right? So you're gonna be you know you're gonna be pretty well going after each other. Uh, measurement is from the center front edge of the unit. They may move. Uh, up to their, their full distance, given terrain and formation. The only compulsion is that they must stay within eight inches of their commanders. Now, remember, we said, uh, you know, we so we look over here and we see they've got to stay within eight inches of these core commanders. All right, so see where they're, you know, see who their bosses are. These commanders have to follow their orders. It's a lot like Shaco in that respect. So, for example, our guy, Rael, He's got to go forward. He's the one that's really moving, and the guy's got to stay centered around him. If you want to reposition Rael to be better fit with his core, I don't have any objection to that. All right. Uh, interpenetration is for free. You can move in any direction. Again, formation change is at the beginning. You could do that for free. Um, you can't obviously pass through units in combat, and you can't pass through an enemy unit. Uh, you may not, and one of the biggest rules in the game, much like in Shaco, much like in LaSalle, no unit may voluntarily move closer than four inches to an enemy unit's front unless you're getting into combat. Once you're there within that boundary, it may either act against it or withdraw out of range. They also have an interaction zone of one inch to either side and to the rear. So it's a little bit of a zone of control, right? So you can do all that. Um, you can back up. You know, as much you can back up to your full movement. So that's that's not a that's not a problem. Cavalry units may be forced to withdraw by enemy action. If a cavalry unit fails to defeat an enemy unit in combat, it must immediately make an eight-inch withdrawal back along its charge path. Now, you do get a lot of flexibility in Absolute Emperor as to how you get to move backwards. It's 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 flexy stretchy. You know, as, as um, the author himself said, this is a mass of guys. You know, it's not one unit or even two. You know, it's a, it's a pretty big mass. Cavalry may evade. Cavalry may attempt to evade a charge. Infantry and artillery do not get to. Evading units face away from the charging unit. It may reform as halted facing in any direction. It may not move but can charge or counter charge. And then there is recoil, and this is a very small one-inch rearward move depending on circumstances. We only have a couple of types of terrain, most of which aren't here. Yeah, we have open ground, cover, which we don't have any of, but we also have built-up areas and fortifications. All right. Uh, they're just like a BUA, except shooting, you only hit on a six. Only hit on a six. And... And it, when attacking, you fight as one grade lower. Why does that matter? Why, it's probably the most important single table in the game. 
This one right here. Three, three morale grades, three morale ranks. You gotta hit those numbers to make it work. We don't have any linear cover, we don't have any difficult terrain, so that's all easy to go. Shooting occurs in the shooting phase, duh. Uh, infantry shoots with a 4d6 in line, 2d6 in attack column, 1d6 in march order. All is from the front rank. Uh, regardless of modifiers, you always get one die. Artillery is a little different. It shoots in a tube. This took me a while for to get through my head. It goes straight ahead and straight ahead only in a tube along its width. Uh, from both, it's up to 18 inches. If either of the two front lines touch an enemy unit, it is viable. It shoots the nearest target. No overhead shooting. It usually in the open needs a 2d6, needing a 5 to hit. And we'll go, we'll run through the combat basics once we get to actual combat. Charging occurs in a separate phase. All units that are not halted or disordered and have enemy units within their charge range may charge. All charges are measured directly ahead with no deviations or turns. However, charging units conform. Cavalry charge is eight, infantry is four. You must be fresh to charge. You may counter charge, but if you do, both units then have to roll their activation number in order to do so. If only one succeeds, it is assumed to have failed when the other one charges on time. If they both go, they meet halfway. If neither does, they sit there. I do like that a lot, actually. You don't get to counter charge. They stare at each other. They stare at each other in some belligerent way. All right. Don't ruin, don't ruin our sixes yet. <laughs> A cork sixes commander are can precious. Re- yeah, that's right. The... Um, the, the problem is, the problem is, a cavalry I'm unit rolling. that wins a round of combat against an enemy cavalry unit may attack them as they withdraw. A second round is fought with updated modifiers. Um, cavalry that charges and fights a successful combat must continue to move towards and charge enemy units every turn after the initial successful charge. Every charge turn that the cavalry unit charges, it gets another hit. So it starts to fall apart. You can recall them if you either can get a 6 plus activation roll or spend an Elan. Otherwise, it's just going to keep doing it. So basically, once they charge, they're kind of out of control. Yep. If they win. If they win. Yeah, if they ever win, right. If they win, you're going to have to try to get them back. Because they're high on victory. Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's a lot of history there, um, and we're definitely going to be using the, the the services of the author to assist us in uh, working out the multi-unit melee because that's one of the things that does get a little bit complex. It's probably the only thing that does, and I'm sure that it will help us with that. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to go over because everything else is on the charts. I think y'all know how to win. Yeah, don't let me roll. Yeah, once a unit reaches five <laughs> hits, it is considered reduced. It drops one level of effectiveness. Season becomes conscript. Conscript become or a veteran becomes seasoned. Seasoned conscript and conscript suddenly has to re-roll all successful hits. Anybody that takes eight hits out of the game. Now, if ever, if ever. You get a extraordinary resolution. We'll deal with it then, but you'll see it on the table. If you get two units, you become halted, which you have to deal with. Four causes disorder. Five means a waiver test, which can cause all sorts of bad things. All right. And the goal is to deprive your... Oh, and one last thing. If you lose, if you lose a combat, you must roll a dice. The controlling player immediately makes an activation test. If it is successful, you're fine. The unit just goes away. If not, 
If not, the you have seized their colors, and that core commander loses one Alan. And the victorious commander gets it. Once Ooh. a core commander's Alan is zero, all units in that command fall back eight inches as a retreat movement. So we have 12 turns. 12 turns. The French. Now the... In oh, and this is really cool. I like this. The French have the uh, initiative, which means the allies go first. They get to see... The French get to see what the allies do. And then they go first in combat, correct. Yeah, what's the shooting distances? Ah, what a very fine question that is. Peek over here. Our ranges. Cavalry charges. I thought, I thought those were on here. There it is. Infantry is four inches. Artillery eight, is 18. Okay. So, if you don't mind, Jeff, I think I'll start. Uh huh. All right. That's allowed. Before, uh, hold on. Before you guys continue, uh -huh. uh, Jim. Yeah. What's up? This guy's way out of command. Oh. Yeah. Can I uh, keep? Let yeah. Take, let me take. Yeah, that's that's. So yeah, if you want to, if you want to scoot your if you want to scoot your commanders, you can go right ahead. I'm not going to worry about it. Just make okay. sure you take just take your marker with you. All right, now let's see who's come to the party to hang out with us. Yeah, <laughs> Tommy McGuire. Don't worry about it. grushi has got the Prussians handled. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, you got 16 people watching. Thank you all so much for being here. A real pleasure. All right, Velk, are you done? Uh, are you guns move when they are... Oh, uh, this, this is also it. Thank you for this. When you move, and you could tell me whichever you were at game start. It doesn't matter one way or the other. If you're facing towards the enemy, that is considered unlimbered. If you're facing... Away from the enemy, you are considered limbered. If you lim if you move, you don't. If you you get to do two things in a turn. You can't shoot twice, but you can limber and move, move and unlimber. You can unlimber and shoot, but you can only do two. So you can't limber, move, unlimber, shoot. Doesn't work that way. Uh, but to your question, we look right here at the movement rates. We see artillery limbered, open six inches. Yes. Yes, you can move and move. Okay. If you are considered limbered at start, yes. This guy starts limbered. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Does this turn in count as a move? No, 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 it's like move any way you want. All right. Clearly limbered. Uh, what does defend orders require? You got to hang out there. You okay, stay so in that move. space. You okay. can you can tweak around a little bit. You can change formation. You can change your facing, but you gotta you're guarding that area. Okay. Mm-hmm. So was this uh, artillery piece began the game uh, limbered? It did. This. Okay, see, this uh, piece of artillery, weirdly, is part of the reserves that are activated only through Wellington. Ah, so this... You, the art, you mean the this artillery guy? of Uxbridge. Okay. Yes, that one. All right, so let me, let me so mark it. I mean, I command both. Right, but remember the rules about the reserve? I don't. What are the rules about the reserve? Okay. We, uh, we, we did start out on that. We, that's where kind of where we started. Let's uh, go to our Waterloo special rules while Jeff continues to move. 
Yeah, in the battle itself, um, that was a huge artillery reserve of small caliber guns, which he held for his own dispersal. Now, so he dispersed in penny packet, but of course you're not. Any unit of that reserve can only be moved using an activation roll, and only if within 12 inches of Wellington at the beginning of the turn. All right, I'll move Wellington. Do you want me to move Wellington over there so you I can activate? Or you can activate him next turn. He can, he can wait there for now. It's Jeff. He he says you can hang out there. He it can wait for now. Okay. He's good. Because Wellington only moves eight inches. Or no, that's right. He's eighteen. He flies around. That's a lot yeah. faster than the others. Now that I think about it. Well, he was. It was noted uh, by multiple original sources that he seemed to be everywhere on the field. Absolutely. In this battle, particular. Abs. Yes, hundred um, percent. Has. I know she didn't include his tree. I yeah, you know. I'm just kidding. There should be an elf, shouldn't there? <laughs> so, this should. Um, how does shifting infantry once they Just shift him. Hey, it's four. Just remember, it's only four inches in that formation. But that's legit. If I move this guy here. What is the rule? What is the rule on that, Boyd? He can if shoot. he's, um, it'll be a minus one if he's overlapping, because he's blocking fire from essentially one brigade. There you go. Uh, I think that. I've moved it, you said. Hey, Boyd, I have a question. Why didn't you go yes. with the more common um, when you change a formation, and then, or I think it's more common. To where whatever formation you change into, then you move the distance of the old formation. Instead, it seems like you made the rules to say that once you get into the new formation, you move at that speed. Right. Well, if you think about these, these are divisions. And as divisions, where it's not really, this isn't a really a line of two guys, you know, two deep going six inches across. It's 5,000 guys. They're all deployed in different uh, formations. Some are in line, some are in columns, some are in the back, right, you know. Just... Uh, and so when a division commander says, all right, I want you to deploy in a defensive posture here along this road, then he is going to tell the guys that say they're in um, column, he's like, okay, start dispersing along that road. So they're not going to fly at a march order pace there or even at a a, a a deep attack which is the, uh, the attack column here they're going to disperse along the road so they're actually going to move at essentially a slower speed since they are moving at a much more um, defensive posture so and the other thing is um, it stops a lot of gamesmanship so uh, like for example say I start off in um, line formation or let's say i start off in column formation i zoom ahead six inches and then deploy into line well that's you know that's like third edition space marines they just show up and blast you <laughs> nobody likes that you just beam in and blast you if you know anything about it is the rhino rush you know the sure. rhino would run 12 oh, inches yeah. across they jump out and destroy you you know replace my guard yeah my i'm sorry so you had another question yes i do my next question yeah. is, is what are you going to do in regards to, uh, you know, earlier, uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, whether they're, they're French system or Prussian system, are you going to force, the, are you going to do that as an adaptation of the game and make uh, li linear troops stay in linear formation? Um, okay, so you're talking about like archaic command structure yeah, and you've earlier. The, yeah, you've got the archaic stuff in there already, yeah. don't you? The archaic command okay. structure is there. And if you look at, so let's take an example. Let's see if I can flip the page, page quick enough. If you look at like Spanish troops, um, Spanish troops, the, the turn they change formation, they can't move. Uh, and they can only be in line or in march order. They can't even form attack column. So you're talking about you know, these guys taking a lot of time to make sure everybody's lined up and they're ill-trained, and so they don't have a lot of flexibility. So that's really reflected in the game and, and um, the specialty rules in the advanced rules. Is that what you're asking? 
Uh, no, I saw that and just wanted to, you know, conversate about it. Oh, okay, cool. Because I think yeah, that's um, a very, very, very important thing in Napoleonics. Right, the the early, especially the early Prussians, the Spanish, and really, the, if you know, not to offend my uh, um, British brethren, but for most of the the war, the British, uh, yeah, and of course, I think you know, Ulm took care of the Austrians because uh, they'd had enough after you know trying to lose northern Italy continuously and then lost uh, to the unfortunate Mac in Ulm. Uh, they started to change almost immediately. But yeah, and, and let me tell you something. If you try to play the archaic command structure against the, the core structure, it's that flexibility and that maneuverability is what gets you, not the fighting power of the troops. All right. So, Jeff, were you, were you able to make your way through what you wanted to do over here? Yes, yeah, I forgot that the, I moved something that was in reserves and I had to put, move it back, but... And I'm just good. so you know, we now have Wellington's Elm. So there we go. There it is. <laughs> so, so, so now that now our battlefield is complete. All right, burn it. Burn it. Well, Absolutely good. complete. So uh, now uh, I leave it to the French. Who wants to go first? I will. All right. Moving these these guys here now. All right. Moving because I was just listening. Uh, yeah. So basically, just moving. I just moving for uh, the their mouse base and their facing is. Basically anywhere towards the front. Anything you like. It's a lot like in that respect. It's a little like black powder. Go nuts. Yeah. Oh, you're letting me go nuts. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What? What is happening? Somebody get the dice roller away from him. Twenty. Yay! Wow. Twenty-one. Twenty-one on a Wednesday night. That's nice. In less than an hour. Less than an hour. And an hour early. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff. And after we get finished playing this game, what are those people doing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. I see French people. Looks like Duralon's going for the old shift to right ploy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, classic. We must, we must take Papalette. See here, it's very Little nice. Little maneuver. <laughs> it's got lots of flowers. Hey Jim, I got to compliment you on where'd you get these wonderful looking figures? Because I mean, the the young and old guard looks excellent. The uh, act, these are these are all James Manhattan. These are all ah. these are all straight James Manhattan. They're the classics. The only uh, we've got Giorgio's on the field, and those would be the land bear. And also, these are oh, we should we should honor them. These are Giorgio's newest creations, the Nussers. Yeah, oh, yeah. So you take pictures of them. These are nice. Yeah, we got uh, we got new toys. Thank you, Giorgio, as always. You're up, Red. How come Georgia, Georgia always makes the conscripts the best look at troops? Isn't that something? Before? Isn't that something for a fact? So this artillery piece, and this one actually too, but I see he's got a plan going, but this artillery piece starts could start unlimbered and start pounding away at stuff immediately. Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, which one? This one? This one right here. This one. I'm, I'm pointing at it right here with my gray. I'm yeah, yeah. making a circle. Yeah. And I mean, it doesn't oh, matter yeah, yeah, yeah. at this point. Yeah. He could just turn around and be unlimbered to shoot. Yeah, I, I realize that, but um, I'm trying something. I'm trying to do red. Um, at least for now, it doesn't work. At this chart you here for a second. My How far does calls move in... Uh... For the columns move in uh, attack open col attack column, you mean or march? Yep, attack, uh, uh, attack columns six are six, inches. march okay. columns are eight. Okay. Now, Boyd, what you'll soon learn is that my rolls 
I can maneuver, outmaneuver anybody, but my rolls, they're really bad. Well, people ask me how to win, and I tell them, roll six. You can't lose yeah, with sixes. Yeah, so I end up with rolling ones. Ask uh, Jim. <laughs> ask El Pachenia. <laughs> okay, that's a funny line. According, I said Tommy. Yeah, according to Tommy, the uh, <laughs> the uh, the Nessers aren't quite ripe yet. And Amelia is expressing her love for the Nessers. What's not to love? You do have to feel a little bad for him, given the fact that Wellington has kind of stuck him out there to get the snot kicked out of him. Yeah, they're basically just bait. You know, this is probably one of the most well-documented battles uh, of the age. And yet, every time I see it played, regardless of the system, everybody tries something new. Yep. So, um, but it's all been done before, which is makes it uh, oh. even funnier. And of course, it, yeah. So I'm we're we're going with the horns of the buffalo attack here by the French. <laughs> we just got done with Zulus two weeks ago, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I do not know how you managed to do this. Holy cow. So when you, when you um, get to where you're playing uh, the game a lot and things like that, your orders tab will say an attack order tab. It will specify what you're attacking. So you'd say I was attacking the ridge or I was attacking the town or I was attacking the crossroads. And you'd move towards that objective rather than just attack. All right, so, so attackers have to be specified generally. Yeah, okay. Well, to a, to a, yeah. Go ahead. Well, and that's that's how the order would be given. He wouldn't just say attack. He'd say, you know, you need to go take this ridge or this village or, yeah. Well, take right. the road. So here, so here, Darlan obviously has been given the orders to take Papalette. You know, that's what it looks like right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we move that division, or that core, I should say. We move that core. These are all on reserve moves because I could on hold moves I should say, because they're there and obviously we know the guard ain't going nowhere just yet. Uh, all right, so that's it. That's all the movement. Look at that, lightning quick. Uh, the next thing is we're going to do some shooting. Any? Uh, I don't think we have any musketry, but do we have any artillery that think they're in range? Yeah, I think mm, not in the French. All right. Yep. So so remember that this particular road is the ridge, right? So I, you know, right. I, it's it's completely permissible to say this because you could move and all that stuff. But if your intention is to say we are visible beyond that ridge, you should probably do this. Okay. Just so we can see you, which is fine, but that just means okay. I get to shoot you too. Um, cool. So, and so you shoot straight ahead yep. like this. Yep. That's something that I had to have explained to me. Um, and so you're going to shoot this guy right there. I yep. don't see any modifiers, but let's go take a look. Just because I like no, it. It's clean shot. Yeah, so it's 2d6. And I do believe he needs a 5 or a 6. I got 5 total. You got, you got nothing. <laughs> you, you fired boldly, but didn't get nothing. Any yeah. French fellas? participation award? Yeah, per <laughs> ribbon rip off. Uh, anything there? Nope. All right, I think that's it. This 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 artillery here. I don't know if the, he is in line with it or not. That's eighteen. No, he's. No, he's out. Looks like he missed him. Yep, he's out. And it's straight ahead. So, anybody else? That's it. Okay. 
So we remind ourselves again that in addition to shooting, we then go to charges. Now charges are four inches and eight inches. Any horse, I, 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 we know there's no infantry within four because they had a shot. Uh, is there any cavalry within eight? Nope. Okay. As that is so, we go to the combat phase and there isn't any. So that's it. That's turn one of Waterloo. Look at that. It's as if by magic. Uh, I'm going to steal a die over here just to do my little turn marky thing. I'm going to just make it a really big die, though. I like that. And, I, yeah, I took French blue. What are you going to do about it? Um, turn two. Nothing. Same drill. Allies. File. We, well, we check command, obviously. Uh, we look around and we see if there's anybody that wants to change an order burning in Elan. Oh, do we take down these uh, delay oh, yes. orders by yes, one? Yes, we do. Thank you. Yeah, I am going to want to, uh, I moved and I, I'm within uh, 12 inches of all this. I want to activate them. I'm sorry, who's them? Oh, um, Wellington. All right, so, oh, so you want to, you want to wake up Oxbridge? You want to? Yeah, my, my, well, no, my reserve here. I'm going to move him, move him back here in a minute, but. Okay, so remember, uh, the, way, the way that works, and, and again, boy, tell me if I got this wrong. You're going to give them an order, and they're going to keep following that order until you change it again. Okay. Correct. So, so let's say, just, just for example, say this unit here, you gave him an attack order. He would trundle off on his own until he got close enough to that cavalry to die. But if you gave him a defense order, he just has to stay within, on say, defend the hill, then this unit will stay in this area. He can then move back here or form square, or do whatever you want to do as long as he's following the defense orders. Now, I don't have a the, core commander. How do I right. mark these guys? Well, you, you would just use the little markers that come in the book, and you'd say defend hill, for example, and then you could move them here or there or wherever and form line or whatever you want to do with them. So, okay, yeah, they're just basically going to move to, to be defensive on this flank here. So what we do... Okay. All we got to do is make a copy of this. And here's the cool thing. The uh, And who you order in here, Jeff? Uh, I'm, yeah, all these guys are going to kind of create a, a line here just to protect the flank here. Oh, okay. So you would just say defend defend the road? Yeah, yeah basically defend the road, yeah. Yeah, because they're already okay. so you. Or, oh, these reserves. I see, okay. Yeah. All right. They need to be rolled for individually. Yeah, yeah so you got to roll for each okay. one of these divisions to activate them. Bearing All in right, mind, what do I need? They are conscripts, which is never the best. Which means we look over here and we see they need a. I got one that's seasoned. They got a. They got a, a five plus and the seasoned are four plus. Okay. Um, we'll do the artillery first. And they're right. done. So yeah, the artillery, they them. seem they seem fine with it. Okay, uh, we'll go to this forward unit here next. Mm -hmm. nope. nope, they're not interested in uh, this next unit behind him mm -hmm. here. Nope, nope. And the seasoned unit. They're all right. Hey, the seasoned unit. Yeah. Knows what the hell it's doing. <laughs> you hope. So, okay, so um, we're going to play it this way because it's set up this way. But these fellows right here, I uh, think those are, uh, I can't get out of it. Okay, these are Dutch, Dutch. I see what you got going on. This unit right here is supposed to be uh, Clinton's British. But since these are seasoned, they're to, now they're going to be seasoned. It's not a big deal. It's just that these, basically, these two units are in the should flip flop, but it's fine like it is. Well, I mean, I can flip. It's pretty easy to flip flop them. So, so. Well, it's going to play the same. You still, you got one season and two conscript, so yeah. it'll play the same. All right, cool. All right, that's all my command. All right, okay. Any other commands for the? Okay, so this guy, so. The, yeah, this guy uh, being seasoned, he met it with the four plus. He met his role. Right. So he yeah, can't move. Right. Yeah, I know. The seasoned oh, he's, okay. unit. Yeah, he's just, we're just making sure. The seasoned sure unit and the artillery will. will. Yeah. Okay. Anything for you, The Walker? two conscripts. Are you good? I don't think I have anything. All right, he's done. So uh, movement then. Oh, wait, no, we have to. What do you mean by 
Hey, do you want to change in order? No. Or, or do, okay, okay, no. All right, so Jeff, uh, it's Jeff's movement then. Oh, thanks, Ian. That's very nice. He's noticing our brand new logo, part of something we're uh, doing this week that uh, hopefully I can get all in place by Sunday. We'll see. It's a busy week being Waterloo Week. I wanted to do it in honor of Waterloo Week. It is, of course, a, uh, a wonderful graphic work by my bride, who is kinder to me than I ever deserved. So I'll tell you all another little tactical secret about the game. Uh, the person that has to go first when they're aiming their guns, like you're aiming your guns right here to drill these guys, right? Mm -hmm. They're not going to be there. When they're done moving, they're, they won't be there. If he continues on this path, he's moving this way. So he'll go out of this gun's range or out of his arc of fire. Velker, you got any moving you need to do? I just kind of picked up a gun. I wasn't mad, man. Okay. I don't think I can order any of my horse. So Correct. Yeah, Wellington's over there having a sandwich with the Dutch. Hey, he's trying to get your butts moving. Well, that's true. You good, Jeff? Uh, yeah. Um, I can now move my command, my Wellington. Um, 18 inches, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. He is. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. <laughs> Hello, dog. All right, I moved him over so you can uh, do a command roll next turn. Yeah, next turn. All right, French, your movement. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to move while you're moving. Sure. Makes sense. No reason not to. So he's going to have to stay four inches away from top of left. That's as close as he can get. Jim, can you measure that out? There it is. Hey, that's pretty good eye. Got to see. Thank you. That's My... why I'm a plumber. <laughs> I just see me at Fletcher Pratt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's already been pretty well decided. Somebody's not allowed to play Fletcher Pratt with other children. It's not fair. Yeah. Life is that way, man. <laughs> sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Like that. I think there's likely to be some shooting this time. That's what I think. <laughs> I gotta look up my shooting modifiers all of a sudden. Well, he moved six inches. That's. Oh, he was he limbered? Oh, that gun. gun? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's yeah. been dragging that gun up towards you.
it's uh, I'm I it's frustrating. I don't have the rules in front of me, so I brought the guy that wrote them. I don't know how much better I can do. I know, but uh, there's there's a difference between having the the printed material in front of me. I understand. Me. Yes, that's the next set I'm getting. What's that? This set here. Right. There's rules for this. There you go. Already on its second printing. Right, boys? And I'm going to put together a scenario booklet for people. And I, Osprey is not going to publish it because I can't get it in the rotation while the game is hot. So we're going to publish it. Uh, by other means. Nice. Very good. So and does that mean two assigned editions? I'm sorry, two people talked at once. I couldn't hear. No, what was your question, Ron? I said, so that means we get signed editions. Signed editions. There you go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. I'll sign anything, <laughs> except a bad check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the movement over here. Uh, Ron, looks like you got some shooting you'd like to do. Yes, I do. Cannons first. That uh... it's it's yeah. They, that's uh, two dice, five or six. Don't let him roll those dice. <laughs> that's one. I got one. Boom! Yay! Boom! All right. And Another then voice. these guys into town. All right. Firing into a BUA. Target is behind a wall in a BUA or a fortification. That's, uh, I don't think they're, 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 they're in a fortification. So you only get to roll 2d6. Instead of your usual might, it would usually be a mighty four. Um, and now these fellows, they would usually hit on their season. So they would hit on their seasoned number. They would usually hit on a four. So it so looks like I rolled a five. You hit him for one. Plink. One's better than none. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you'll get two shoes back. Oh, for sure. It's simultaneous stuff. Uh, you also want this one, Ron, I assume? Or are you in range? I don't think he's in, I don't think he's in four inches. Oh, no, he's not. No, he is not. All right, so he's there. Gun's done. I don't think, Red, you had any, correct? Yeah, no, that's, that's correct. Not. All right, so let's go back over here. Velker, shooting. Now, he gets to shoot. The crazy part is, to, okay, so, so boy, this is one thing I was wondering about. He's almost nearly at a 45-degree angle, and I know he gets to shoot out of multiple faces of this BUA. But does he get to shoot? Right. So this fella and this fella get to shoot, I imagine? No, in this particular instance, he's gonna, he has to pick a side that's shooting and shoot with that side. Okay. Even and though this guy is, is splitting the corner. So let's say you had a unit splitting this corner and one splitting this corner, uh -huh. then you don't get to shoot with three. The idea is that you know one side is defending against one side. And well, same thing when you go into a charge to attack. Got it. So how many dice does he get to roll? Two dice. Two dice. Oh, are you in range? Well, we took it as in range, so you get to shoot. Yeah, we took it as in range, so you get to shoot. Conscript, you're going to need those fives. Oh, look at you. Velker on the loose. Nah, okay. figures. Oh, I had to go to its Velker That's... side. Dang it. <laughs> yep, there's the Dutch Belgians for you. I don't think they got anybody up there. Yeah, I mean, I know. I know. Nope. Not quite straight. Nope. All right, I think that's it. Oh, how about here? Uh, I got, I got a gun. Yeah, I see that. I see you do. Uh, that gun, mm, okay. well, that's a that's a pretty low rise, so I think that's pretty fine. And we, what we do is we draw this line right here. Yep, there it is. He is on a higher level, however, with shooting. So I, I noticed this. I want, he, he's on a higher level of shooting. We look at our shooting modifiers. Target is uphill. Oh, with musketry. So obviously not relevant. 2d6, 5 or a 6. No. I want to fight on Jeff's side. <laughs> Velker <laughs> hits me too much. Yeah, Velker hits too much. And we obviously uh. have we obviously have no combat. There is no combat. So, and how about charges? Anybody feel the charge coming on? I, I suppose. Now, here's an interesting point. 
Ron, you you fired here and you got this. We determined this was four inches. You could charge if you wanted to. Uh, well, he's under attack order, so he is obliged to charge. Oh, oh the man oh, has spoken. Oh, there it is. Okay. Has to. In dun, he goes. Dun, dun. So does he get to choose because he's equal, He's uh, divided up here? Yeah, he can pick either side. Pick a flank and conform to that flank, please. Just so. Melee is on, baby. This will be fun. Here we go. So for the uh, onlookers on television, what happens is it charge straight forward and then fold it over and shuffle down a bit. Mm -hmm. So straight in and picked a side. All right. So since you're an attacker, you have to charge if, if you're within range. His his job as part of this core is to take this town. He can't just sit back here and, and you know, shoot away. Con contemplate it. I mean, I guess you could, but you need to attack under attack orders. Okay. Especially, and the key is, especially once you get into charge range. Right. That's why the charge range in Shaco is so dangerous or effective. Uh, so, it, is there a, an order where he could sit back and and shoot him, you know, and, and do a firefight, basically? You could have run up there and changed your orders to defend. Okay. But there's oh, no, like, firefight. Okay order or anything like that or, or okay but i don't know how he would be able to do that well just think of this situation how would you change him to defend he's up there he's stuck by the time he gets into shooting range he's got to go yeah you could well you, command phase command phase comes before movement right right but he would have he would the point is if you've moved up close enough to shoot if you're on attack orders you're going right right so you got to stop, like like the man said, you got to stop outside four inches, change to defend, and then you could probably creep up and shoot. That makes sense. Yeah, exactly, exactly so. Yeah, because right. you're still. All right. It's all learning. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, he man has gone in. So now we're now it's combat time. All right. Uh, ooh. <laughs> the bad um, for me. He is defending a BUA, so he gets two d six. You're attacking a BUA, so that's 2d6. Okay? Um, that is not the one. That's Hugamol, which is a fortification. So it's 2d6 to 2d6. Uh, I believe that's all the modifiers, and you're looking for hits here. That's it. Yep, so uh, let's, take, let's take a look at what you got there, Ron. You are seasoned, so you need fours, and he needs fives. Belter gets one. Ron gets one. I get one. So based on this is so, how do we adjudicate the combat? It continues on. It's going to grind. And does it continue in this turn or in the next turn? Nope. It's You're done for this turn. You only do combat once per turn unless it's a cavalry follow-up action or a, a follow-up charge. All right. So y'all are having at each other. All right. No other. Uh, I don't think anybody else was close enough, right? All right. No, that was it. No, that's it. All right. Let me dec let's decrement our uh, folks that are on hold orders. Almost off that hold order. All good there. Good, good, good. Turn three, boy. Yeah, let's see, Waterloo is blowing past us. Gotta like it. Allies. Any command changes? Um. Velker, do you want me to roll to see if those your guns activate? Yes, please. Gonna try to uh, try to wake up these guns. Um, what do we need for that? What? Yeah, they don't have. Yeah, that's a uh, they. What was their? What was their? Uh... It's artillery. They need a five. They need a five. Okay. So they don't get it. Unfortunately, don't get it. They apparently are uninterested in leaving the reserve at this time. <clears throat> they they go on their number. So they'd all. This is conscript light, elite. So you know, it depends what they are. Might as well start rolling for them, right? Well, you've got to give them an order, though. So what do you want them to do? To like defend this flank here. If that's that's what you want them to do, they certainly can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wellington's in range. Why don't you roll? My rolls have not been real good. So Velker, why don't you announce what you want the order to be that you're trying to give them? 
What do you mean you can't separate them? I was saying like splitting these guys half and half, but I mean like these guys over here and these guys over here. Like, well, my impression is you can give the these orders. I think you can give individually, correct? Because there's nobody to give. Not them. on the, the no Uxbridge. The cavalry themselves are under Uxbridge. Oh, and so he's he he's a um. Yeah, you got to change. Yeah, he's gotta, a he's a regular guy. Oh, all you got to do is change his or he's under defend. So you could just ship those guys over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You just got to burn in the lawn to do it. Well, he's they're already under defend though. I thought these guys were in the reserve though, so I had to roll for them. Right. No, the reserve artillery in Uxbridge's core is under Wellington. Um, he did not allow. He didn't trust Uxbridge number one. Right. So right. he didn't allow Uxbridge to control these. But the cavalry are under Uxbridge, and when he uh, gave Uxbridge order to charge, Uxbridge took everybody and trundled across the field. There was a grand battery right here, and Real actually went this way. So there was a grand battery here, and Uxbridge blew through that, and then all this cavalry came and destroyed him right in this area. Sure. So, but the point is, is, is that the only it, one it, under Wellington? So. How would this work to wake up Uxbridge and get him to do what Velker described, which is haul over here and guard this flank? If he wants to change his order to defend over there, mm -hmm. then he needs to burn an Elan and get everybody moving in that direction. And who burns that Elan? Uh, Uxbridge. Okay. He's a corps commander. Got it. So Uxbridge does. So, so he can't just... Because he's defense, you know, he, we're, he, he's not leaving the basic defensive area. He has to burn a lawn to move, basically move any place other than sit. To move up, no, no. Okay, so let me amend that. My understanding was you wanted to move him over there to defend here. He can stay in place, and they can all move over here as long as they stay within eight inches of him in some fashion. So they can all, you know, you know, or even one of them, you could trot this guy over here, because I, I assume what you want to do is pop this guy off of the flank here. Yep. Um, so it's it's very reasonable to take one and move him eight inches away. I don't know if my guy, my my thing won't make numbers, but if you want to move this guy over here and keep him within command span, he's still under defend orders. So it's the the core commander that can't move under defend orders. Okay. Right. But and everybody can move around him as long as they're defending what. So what you can't do is you can't you know charge off in front of him. That you have to stay within eight inches of him. Right. Okay. Right. So Velker, you'll be able so, to do that for free in the in the movement phase. All right. Uh, so with that, any other command issues for the British? No. All right, French. You got any command stuff you want to do? One sec. Now we're good for now. Yes, units can interpenetrate. Hey, Potbelly Slim, good to see you, man. All right, allies move. Yeah, he is. You can move him, though. As We know where he is. We'll leave his marker there. I just wanted to move these guys. Yep. Oh, that's fine. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
he focused on his horse and checking to see what Jeff is up to over here. I'm sure what Jeff is doing is much more interesting. <laughs> He's rolling out the Brunswickers. <laughs> You know, for me, the fun part of the game is when you do have the higher Elan, uh, you get to watch the other guy struggle around, and then you get to react. And then when you're playing with the lower Elan, you try and, like, sneak ideas past the guy with the higher Elan because you know he has the advantage. <laughs> yeah. I know that he knows like, that I know. Like, you know, there's... um. There's, you know, 18,000 sabers suddenly turn to the left and start trotting off. Napoleon's <laughs> going, what? <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt. Three freaking I'm divisions. going, mm, Four divisions of horse just took a hard left turn. You can turn the line, right? Just for free? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's like 2,000 in e If we're playing on that scale, there's, there's a bunch of horse flesh right Oh yeah, yeah. It's about about ten, twelve thousand for real. Just remember, he's going to be partially blocked if that's real even. <laughs> They're brand new. You don't want to destroy them just yet. <laughs> Georgia would be sad. Oh no, that's what we're here for—to break things. Yeah, break break in Georgia's models. All right, everybody good? I don't know. I'm ready. Yeah, send this stupid French in. All it. right, French, have at him. Eleanor, you are watching what they're doing, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> There's absolutely a Facebook group has. It's uh, just Absolute Emperor. And Boyd is on it on a regular basis. I give him a, a lot of credit for that. I see him just. About I, I get pretty jazzed at how much people are, you know, how inquisitive people are. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah the best support right now is probably through the Facebook group. Um, and like I say, he's on there real regular. So. The official QRS and errata sheets have been forwarded to Osprey. They should be putting them up on their uh, forum at some time, uh, you know, I don't know when, but I'm sure it has to go through their uh, editors and stuff first. Now you're seeing the trouble with working with lines. Yep. So just a pro tip, um, this unit cannot shoot into this. So if he were in march or attack column, he'd have the same effect as if he were in line right here. And this guy would have more room. Oh, so he can't, yeah, can't fire shoot. into here? Yeah, you can't shoot into combat. Nope. Oh, okay. And uh, you're going to fight with 2D, 2D6. doesn't matter what your formation is. Shouldn't the uh, Imperial Guard have a uh, marker on it as well? Because I was under the impression they weren't even on the battlefield until like 1, one thirty. They're supposed to. Uh, is that where'd my draw marker go? Yeah, oh, I meant to tell you, you didn't put one on there. I didn't put a draw marker on. No. Bad me. You remember the. But special... you don't have to. Well, no, but you remember the uh, the special draw rules. There, it's uh, it isn't so much hold, but remember that it's uh. Where did it go now? Yeah, if you go any time before. Six on the cavalry reserve, but you can only activate them together and be tur before turn eight. That's why. That's why. It's because I didn't put a marker on him because he's got to give him an order. 
He's got to activate them and ship them out. All right, I thought we had, yeah, I wasn't sure if we, could, we could activate them right now. No, you can, but if you do it any time before turn eight, you have to roll a six. All right, okay. As opposed to their otherwise very nice elite. Because doesn't, uh, isn't the uh, two reserve cavalry and the guard under Napoleon's uh, word, he doesn't have a lawn points given to him. Right, no, they're under Drouot, but he's got to wake him up. Sure. Uh, you want me to try to wake him up for you? Wouldn't, wouldn't, right. wouldn't well, Napoleon... Wake him so, up no. Napoleon so if you... If you're trying to activate the um, the guard artillery or the guard cavalry, you activate them, and once they're activated, they have to be assigned to another corps, and they just split off. Right. But the infantry themselves have to be activated together under Duro. And if you want to activate the guard infantry right now, you got to roll a six. Maybe you're lucky. Maybe they'll steamroll. But that's in the command phase. Yeah, that's true too. Right. And doesn't it cost a a Alon also? It doesn't cost an Alon under the Napoleon rule. Um, Napoleon, okay. like Wellington in this scenario, they're just rolling on the activation of the troops they're trying to get moving. Okay. Oh. But okay. if either cavalry reserve is activated before turn six, it costs that corps commander one Alon. Okay. Right. But the guard is different. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. These are these are just stressors put on uh, artificial stressors put on there because Napoleon, as you know, we've all seen the Dino De Laurentiis movie. He was really worried about where Grouchet was, right? You know, which for good reason. So French, you got moves to do? Uh, my moves are done. Red, I'm done. Excellent. Gunnery, what do we got? Uh, well, the Allies go first. Oh, well, we oh no, the French go first. I'm sorry. Too. I lied. All I right. told a filthy lie. I was about to say, yes, yes, of course. And then I realized, wait, no, we don't. <laughs> and then I said, wait, no, we don't. That's... All right, artillery. Yeah, artillery. You know how that goes. Blam, blam. That's some artillery. One hit. See, I'm not bad with artillery. Mm -hmm. It's the cavalry you struggle with. All right, so this guy out of range... This guy in range? This guy can't shoot. He can't shoot, though. All right, can't Remember shoot into that, combat. and he can't shoot out of that. So That's going to be a fight, though, I bet. Uh, no gunnery here, no gunnery here, no gunnery here. I see none. I, see I none. think I've got gunnery off of my uh, well, off of I'm, Hugama. I'm, I'm coming over here. I'm coming to look and see. We'll see. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a shot. That's a shot. I'd that's say a flank, too. 2D, 2D6. 2d6 what are those fellers they're ooh they're them's is elites and we're shooting down there that means there what does a uh what does an elite have to roll is that a two boy three so it's still a three even though a veteran is also a three yeah elite infantry um they always activate and uh, i got bad lighting in here so um, they uh, they are treated exactly as veteran infantry, except they reroll all unsuccessful hits Ooh. and can always form square regardless of activation roll. All right, wow. and Ooh. we're we're shooting down the their line, uh, their infilade. Or do I get any bonus for that? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's, let's see here. I'm gonna look at their general shooting factors. None there. Oh. I see oh. none. Okay. Shooting base. Just ask him. Yeah, no, you should. You get to re-roll them both. I got you got that going for you. That's one. Yep, one hit. Rolled four dice and hit once. Even though never mind. <laughs> I don't think I think he managed to avoid my the Bowling ball. He ran They're very. Dodging. They ran very quickly past you. Is what happened. Yes. Yeah, sure. I don't we think you, we you basically call this die rolling the the Dalinar Jep syndrome. There it is. But uh, I, you can make a line out there if you want. But I don't think. Um, 
is can I with this artillery? Um, yeah, they're in the range. No, they're they're at eighteen. Eight. No, they're not. Not where you hit them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so they're out. How about any anything else? How about you? Oh, look at you, Valker. Look at that. Yeah, I had G six. Yep, sure do. Two D six, five or six. Nothing. Anything else? Anybody else think they got a shot somewhere? All right, Delinor, do what we know you're going to do. Yeehaw! Going in risky, no line. At, and remember, no, well, remember. Well, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the same numbers. So. Now, this is. This is intriguing. Occasionally touch the mouse. Wait, isn't there a shot here with this gun on these infantry? The Where are you? Sorry. I already did. I already, did. Yeah, that I hit already him. happened. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yep, no worries. Yeah, I hit him once. So, we've got these fellers rolling their two versus these fellers rolling their two. We've got these fellers rolling their two and these fellers rolling their two. Wow, that's a lot of twos. That's a lot of twos. The French are consistently looking for threes, right? Threes? Fours. Fours. Yep. And the, yeah, and, and our, and their Four pluses. Points. So, well, which one do you want to do first, Ron? Let's do the original one first, a lot. All right. Two, fives, and f you know, fours and fives. One each. Got one. Grinding on, as the man said. Grinding everything. Mm -hmm. Now the next one. Oh, man. Oh, oh look at you. That's the same roll he got twice in a row. Now, he damaged him and was not damaged in return. Is there a consequence here in our post-combat result? Okay, so I'm looking at this. He only took two damage this combat ring, right? Correct, correct. Okay, and these guys didn't... They This guy took one, this guy took one. Yep. So they're uh, just going to continue to... Actually, the guy, in town, the guy in town only took one. No. Yeah, no, so they're just going to... He took two, he took two, you're right. He took two. Yeah, and the guy... The, the, this guy should guy took didn't take anything. Yeah, this guy didn't take anything. In, that's in combat... It's down to three, and this is here, so that's nothing, yeah. Oh, that's four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yep. Go ahead. So that's the result. Okay. So um, he only took two this turn. Yes. Right? Yes. So he's te technically halted and he can't recover from halted uh, while he's in combat. That's just a technicality. He took two. Same effect on him. But um, not, this combat will just continue to grind. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's the that's how BUAs work. Basically, you, you just have to grind. Now, had they given this fellow three, he would have to recoil out of the town, become disordered, take a wave test. Got it. So, so I was really thinking that was going to happen, but I was surprised. No, halting is for both. Yeah, it, it like I said, it's a technicality. It doesn't. It won't do anything because the nobody's going to exit this combat nicely mm -hmm. so being halted doesn't really matter yeah because the other thing is you lift the effect of the halt at the end of the turn anyway not if you're in combat oh okay. not if you're in combat but an infantry unit that defeats its opponent um in other words routes the other unit regardless of whether he's disordered or halted becomes fresh automatically right so th that's why i say it's just technicality it won't matter no other melees, right? Very nope. good. Turn four. Let's decrement our... Uh... Now, uh, Lobau has come off his hold order. What does that change to? Uh, you, you can change it to anything you want. You That's... can change it to hold. You can change it to attack or defend, whatever you want. Ron, which one? Uh, I want to change it to attack. Attack. To the and what should he attack? What's he attacking? The British. This looks nice. You don't have to say it. <laughs> don't have to say it out loud. Uh, Tell no, me. I know. The, uh, uh, da, 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 da. There's <laughs> that. All right. And this one here, did that one go down? Yes. Okay, thank it you. It should go down to three. So to three. Okay, got it. All right, he's on that hold. All right. 
do the so that's that we go to the top of the turn allies any command changes you want to make velker roll for your artillery need that five one down. One step down. away for a second mm -hmm. there it goes there you go what order are you placing him on he's gonna yeah. gonna defend over there or what make that break to defend him over there okay there's nothing for him to shoot at here. Remember, this is a combat. Right, he can't shoot the town. Anything about just defending this road over here? Mm -hmm. Oh, the red said he was leaving for a sec? Yes. Uh, I want to see if he wants me to activate the, uh, the guard. Want to defend that road section? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I come over to you, Ron, and say, what do you want to do? <laughs> Well, I tell you what, it, we can figure it out later because I got to look over at the allies anyway and say, since they've done that, allies move. Okay. And remember now, you do have uh, Lobau. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Old Blue Hand has got the trick out of Wellington already. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm back. Congratulations. <laughs> when we go, right, do you want me to try to activate the guard for you? You can try, but... I'm going to try. I, I mean, what do you got? is there a consequence of not trying? Is, I mean, no. is there a consequence of me failing? So. No, there's, you there's, just there's... put him on... Yeah. You just got to roll a six. That's it. All right. Oh, I can do that. I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> It's Mr. One speaking. <laughs> ah. Repeated ones. How many, how much tequila have you drink, Ron? Rum, rum and coke. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so, so Boyd, the word is coming from the chat that you are the voice of Zeus on our, on our little stream here. So that's all right. <laughs> that's awesome. Maybe Don't a small Zeus. Don't towards the French, please. <laughs> Yeah, that's another good option. Uh-oh. Like Four <laughs> inches, Valgar. I went for it. No, no, you can't get any closer then. <clears throat> now, we'll let you know that um, he's, right he's fine to walk up there and, and shoot. But he, uh, this this unit right here under orange, it cannot charge. No, this because it's here. under defend order. Yeah, neither right. of these units are going to charge. Right. I don't think he wants to. I don't think you want to. No. Yeah, yeah. He he wants to take a nice honest shot at that boy right there. Yep, it's worth it. Is there a canister range? Yep. I don't remember what four it inches. Off. Is it four? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought when I looked at it. Oh, can't I do the little squeaky wheels? Squeaky squeak, just a little bit. Is there more you can? Oh. No, that's it. If you're up to six inches away, you roll two you roll two D six and you get to keep it. both rolls that you hit. Oh, okay. Oh, so you only get the oh, so you only can hit once with yep. your artillery. Yep. You, uh, okay. If you're outside canister range, correct. Right. Oh, so the hits I've been hitting on him with the max I could do anyway. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you've done quite well. Yeah. I need to ask a question. This artillery, I don't remember it being activated by Wellington. I remember these guys being activated. Oh, yeah, he did activate it. He activated he this He did it while you were gone. Okay. So what I get for leaving. Yeah, yep. So <laughs> the next right. thing you know, Velker's activating guns on you. Yeah. Giving you a big thumbs up.
Allies, you good? Yep. Velker? Okay. All right. French? Are you good? So the We're Allies right have moved. The French have moved. Everybody's all set. So that means we got to check no, out. No, I we have French haven't moved. The French moved second. Yeah, yeah I, okay. So yeah, do your thing. Sorry. I don't know why I keep screwing that in my head. French move. He will. He will throw lightning at you. It's true. All right, I have another question. Mm -hmm. Now they can't be four in They can't move no closer to four inches of an enemy, correct? Right. Uh, what if their line of sight is blocked? I mean, is that a count? BUA has a um, uh, interaction zone of one inch. Yep, you're good. And a unit in combat, it's one inch to flank or rear as well. So. Oh, I forgot my other guy. Oh, yeah, we didn't do... I had to do my roll for uh, the guard. Okay. Six. Ha! <laughs> no. And they, they act... Yeah, they activate as two, so... Oh, then these guys separately? No, they do not go set. No, that, that was for the infantry. Oh, right, right. Okay. Now that's an attacking move. I like it. Yeah, buddy. Sooner or later, Reg, you're going to have to make that right turn, dude. <laughs> just putting it out there. No, he's going to just keep off the map. He's just going to... Yeah, he's just going to start... He's going to drift, you know, roughly towards Brussels around to the left. Isn't, isn't there a, um, a town out there called Marabane? Yeah, mm-hmm. It's right up here about... They're thirsty. They're looking for some place to get a drink. It's, uh, that's all. Let me tell you about thirsty. When Velker, my wife, and I went to Waterloo the last time, we went in August, th two months, three months after the anniversary. And we figured, sure, if we go to Plaine Savoie, there's this famous inn that's there that you can all the travelers talk about. Yeah, don't do that during August. It's all freaking closed. <laughs> We, uh, so that's we did, uh, vacation? Yeah. We did Gettysburg on a hot July day. Um, and uh, when you're done with that, I can't imagine guys standing in wool coats no. on a July day in Pennsylvania. Because um, uh, we were beat done when we were. All right. An August day in body armor yeah, in I, the God, desert. God bless you, man. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh so i want to i want to point out something about lebeau's gun mm -hmm. it started off limbered correct correct okay it can move move again yeah it gets you want to get him uh into the action faster yes sir you have to tell me it twice <laughs> <laughs> two moves there it is all right. French done? Not even close. But Good. yeah, movement-wise, yes. <laughs> All right, let's talk guns. British. Actually, French. French fire first. Yeah, French fire first. 2d6. Is that uh, canister? It is. Yep. Nice. One. That's a good roll. Excellent roll. Just keep those up. That is four Nine. dice for uh, fours. Two 
two. That's three hits this turn. That's going to have a consequence. But before that comes... Yeah, he's to... disordered. Yeah, before that happens, though, he gets to shoot back, correct? I get one more shot. Though. Yeah, and you got another shot over there, yeah. Got it. Two. One more. One more hit. So... That's right, orange veterans go down. All right, there. All right, so that's a total. How many hits is that total for this turn of four. shooting? That was four. 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 Okay. So he is disordered. For got sure. The flag that so says. Um, but he gets to shoot back with his four dice. Correct. Looking for needing threes. Needing threes. Ouch! This is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is his chance. Make it all worth it. Three hits. Three hits. That's Three hits. that's not a good thing. Yep. Also disordered. All right. Other shooting. I'm looking. I'm looking around the battlefield. I'm seeing these guys drifting to the left. There's a cannon right here. That's an awesome oh, y'all are doing it with one side or the other. Yeah. Did that cannon? Uh, did that cannon only do uh, one thing? Because it was limbered. Did it move at all? Yeah, it moved and limbered. Yeah, so then it can't. It's out. Or moved and unlimbered. You can't. You can't move, move unlimbered. Unlimbered and, unlimbered and moved. Can't, you can't, if you do that, you cannot shoot. Any other shooting? I have a cannon. Cannon. Gunners yeah. need a break. <laughs> That's... Cannon and cannon. Who's ever got the snacks? Go easy. Uh, what's the modifier for shooting at a gun? Uh, counter battery fire, you need a six. That's it. 2d6, but you need a six. Look at that. There you go. Put one on. <laughs> Blam. All right, so that's it for that. I got... I've what got, about got, this? What you got? Sorry. Yeah, this gun didn't shoot you. Which one? Ah, oh, that one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. And I, say, yeah, I think I can hit him. Yeah, that's him. 2d6. 2d? Mm -hmm. Looking for fives. All right, now charges. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Here you go. Yeah, this is the one charge that happens is this one because both these fellers are disordered, right? Correct. All right. So in and he'll gun, go in there and hit and then fold hits. around. Yep. No, no, he does. Yep. Boom. Hopefully the disorder affects them. It does. It's no bueno. Uh, okay, so let's. Uh, where do you want? How, it's up to you, Dalinar. How do you want to? Same order. Let's start here. That's uh, still. That's still two to two. Two hits. Yes. Okay. And two to two. Oh, nothing. Yes. Oh, yes. nothing there. And two oh, back. I spoke too soon. So it does not kick him out, but that does disorder him. And it Correct. Down to con or no, I'm already conscripts him. Yeah, so, oh, that's right. It, it drops him It drops him to that re-roll all your hit stage. Mm. Yep. Um, what number is this right here? It's six damage? Yep. How did he take? He took six damage in one turn? No, he took two. In the shooting, he took one from here and like three from here, right? Not in the shoot. What are you looking at? If you're looking, if you're looking inside Papalo, he was at. No, no, right here. I'm, I'm looking at this one right here. It says he took six damage. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. From shooting, shooting. He, we were we were resolving Papa. He Lord. started out with two. Yeah. Okay. He took. So he took four. Yeah, exactly. Got it. All right. So he he was a veteran, but he's not a veteran anymore. Okay, so that happened because he he is his damage is six, so he's gone into exhaustion. He's seasoned just from that shooting phase. Yes, yeah, seasoned. So this is what now two to four. Yep, and I have the four. Correct. Is it, does the disorder cost him anything else? Yeah, he's going to have to reroll one successful hit in combat. Okay, so it's four looking for fours, fours, and rerolling re one. Again, please stop with the chips. You're killing me. And two for fours. Mm -hmm. Right for me. Yep. So he's got uh, three dice. Oh, he's attacking. That's right. You get a third die run. Yep. All right. Well, two hit. Yeah. No. All right. So, Ron, how many did you roll? I got two hits. Well, that's enough. And how many did you get, Valkyrie? You got three? Yep. All right. So, Boyd, correct me if I'm wrong here. I know that that wipes out this unit because that's eight. Correct. Velker, Velker, this... Velker, uh, now, who checks for the colors, the attacker or the defender? Um, whoever lost has to roll the dice. All right, so you have to make a seasoned roll to avoid losing your colors. No. You do not. No. Nope. You do not succeed. You lose your colors. That was for... Yay! So that takes the colors away. Those were the colors of orange. 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 Oh, boy. Orange, yeah. orange drops to one Alon. And uh, our dude, Darlon, drops, okay. increases to one. Increases one. Now, I want to show you, this is what I was talking about earlier. This unit came in here fresh, took three hits, which is an automatic disorder. But since he defeated his opponent, he automatically goes back to fresh. There we go. That's crazy. That makes sense. But he still got, but he still got the three damage. Oh, yeah, he still takes the damage. They're dead people. Yeah, there are dead people. Really? Wow. <laughs> I see dead people. I never would have thought. Never would have thunk it. All right, good quick stuff. I like it. Uh, oh, much better than LPE. Yeah. Yeah. This this hustles along. LPE there. is dead. Uh oh. Uh oh, Boyd, you are, you are, you have before. been declared the LPE. You, you have been declared the LPE killer. Well done. No, the division, uh, the division game. This is, I mean, this works. All right. So uh, that combat's done. That combat's done. I think we're finished here, right? Yes, yes, yes. We're good. Uh, all right. On to turn five. Turn five. It's, it's, well, it could, now that you're in contact, it's, let's see, how long are we into this? About Eleanor, you found your game. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, all right, so we go to command. British, do you have any commands you want to issue? Yeah, I'm going to try to get these reserves activated. This one here? Yeah, we'll do the front one first. Got it. Conscripts are great. <laughs> no. Not that one, the, and one. the back one. Hey, hey, yeah, the back ones are like, yeah, we need to get, we need to get <laughs> move, yeah. So they're going to do some mm. defending, I reckon. Yes. All right. They've had second breakfast. Yeah. Ah. Move on. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Any other orders? So the hobbits is. Any other orders to change? What you got, Valker? I'm burning an alarm on us three. To do what? We're attacking here. There it is. Down to two alarm. I think we know what that order is. No secrets. I form circle. I bet you, I bet, I oh, bet, no. I form children. I bet you do. I form hexagon. The water could go around the circle just as well. So could the horses. All right. French, any order changes? I'm going to try to activate the... The guard. Uh, the, uh, the guard. I try to activate the cab. 
that, remember, if you activate that reserve cav, that costs you an alarm. All right, what about the artillery? <laughs> that cost an alarm? Uh, no. Yep, you just, there no. you need a five plus. But they've got All to right. go off to a core commander. They don't stay with Jerome. Mm -hmm. All right, then never mind. I'd rather okay. have these guys activate. No, 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 give me the little bow. Oh, oh yeah, I could do that, okay. I mean, you gotta try to roll them. There it is. Oh, that I get a six. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So he goes off to go work with Lobo. Yeah. All right. British. Now that cost him a. a is that cost him a, a long? No. That's just an act. Okay, yeah. actually, uh, Lobo actually will increase one Elan by taking the Correct. additional yeah, yeah, unit. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Because he's just trying to figure it out. Yep, because the Emperor just said to him, here, have a present. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's being commanded at, at that point by the Emperor. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. British, show your hand to the French, please, in your movements. All right, while they're doing that, excuse me one sec. Four inches, remember. Well, look, eight inches is there. So you, what you're probably going to want to do is get those Nasurs out of the way. I don't know if you have to do that. Just scooch him. I don't know what you're talking about. Like this, I have to go all the way up here to get him. Do not know what you're talking about. Grab. It's weird grabbing, okay? Mm. Just complaints. I'm complaining at you. There you go. That's good, though. Sorry about that. Just to show I'm impartial, this unit right here should probably trot over this way a little bit so we can charge straight into the flank of this unit. What I'm going to do, just because Boyd, I think it'll help everybody concerned, I'm going to give you a call. Yeah, because we can't tell who you're Yeah, we got, we got to see who you're pointing at. So I'm going to do that right now. Oh. Give you a nice I'm break. Circling. Yeah, do a nice purple. Pink. Yeah, pink, pink. Hot pink. There you go. Yeah. Okay, you may, you may so that everybody can see it, can I take hot pink and he takes red so we know we can see his hand as, you know, red and make sure that we can see it? I think pink is even more no. visible, but either way. Yeah. Okay. Pink. Yeah, go ahead. Grab pink, Boyd. I don't see the dot. Go top right, click on your yeah. name. Yeah, it's you. Go, what you do is you go up to your name. I just Please. left click on the room. Where's... I think I can do it. For it. You. I think I can do it for you. Yep, just did it. For Got you. it. Okay. So uh, this there this conscript go. unit right here. Yep. He might want to trot over this way so he can charge into the flank of this unit in combat. That uh. That might be a nasty surprise for the French. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, just remember, facing don't matter. No, you gotta go back though. You're easy. It's remember four inches. Oh, that's right. It's only one inch from his flank. That's right. There you go. <laughs> they suddenly, Darlone's boys just suddenly had a bad moment. <laughs> Hello. Uh. I was 
it's not gonna matter for the guys in the crowd if Donald Trump picks him. We know which fight he's gonna pick first. All right. Jeff, you got uh, Jeff, are you where you wanna be? Yep. All right. Yep, I'm Velker, done. Velker, you're where you wanna be? I am. All right, French, please. All right, question. Mm-hmm. These guys here, since they see these guys here, mm -hmm. can I form square? Yep. Show me you remember how to do this. I will kick you out of this game. You will not. <laughs> You're right, I won't. But still, I'll threaten to. Dot, what are you doing? You're doing this to annoy me. No, I'm trying to get my controller going. Here. Oh, okay. While he's doing that, yeah, go ahead. Now, what did you just do? Hmm? There you go. You made a square. The I wanted it to be a circle. The emperor is pleased. What? Your now you're calling yourself the emperor, okay. No, right, no, play. the emperor would be pleased by him doing that. <laughs> Scroll wheel. It's very intuitive. Ah, uh, now with this disorder, they're halted, they can't move, right? Correct. Disorder is stuck how do they in get, place. How do they get rid of that? It's a point of Elan, correct? Boyd? Yeah, um, know. wait, I've... I've I'm trying to uh, maneuver around the table, so I've lost track of what's going on, on this side. Okay, what was your question? How does he get rid of his disorder? This unit here? Yep. In the, uh, okay, so he's not in combat. At the beginning of the command phase, uh, he would go up one step automatically to halted. Okay. Poop. So he's no longer disordered. He's halted. <laughs> cool. Got it. Dig it. Now you have the boo marker. They're in combat. These guys are not in combat. My son just told me how to look at the look at the field from uh, like three corner view. The battle suddenly got very interesting. Ah. I was looking at overhead. <laughs> Is that the fifties calling? <laughs> yes, yes it was. Night, John. Please Take deposit a, uh, a 25 cents for the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Making a person to person call. I remember calling from college, putting quarters in the. Uh, yeah, you got to be of a certain again. age to remember the day when you would call collect, and then as soon as oh, some, guys. oh yeah, and then somebody would hang pick up, and you'd go, you know, you'd give a fake name, but it would be a code name that your mom would know, and it was your way of confirming you had arrived safely. Yep. Yep. Oh, my parents used to kill me when I was overseas. I used to like junkard at night, freaking from England, calling them. <laughs> in the middle night? of the night. Well, for me, for me it was the middle of the night. For them, it was like right an early morning. Right from Scotland. And that was one of the weirdest things when our son was in Okinawa. Twenty years earlier, to call just to call him would have cost a fortune. We were able to video a call all the time. Oh yeah. And and it didn't cost anything. And it so often it just getting my head around that concept was just yeah well thanks to arthur c clark with uh who confirmed the concept of the satellite communication satellite yeah yeah for sure as opposed to the uh sub oceanic cable hmm. yeah things are crazy so much different all right all right so that gun moved up okay french you good Yep. Red, you good? Yes, I am. Excellent. French shooting. 
That gun right there? Oh, that's, no. Is that canister range? I'm gonna say no. No. Two dice. Two dice from that way. One. Two dice. The Nessers. Oh, no, that's right. He's got to shoot the horse. They're closer. Yep. And they are intersected by one of those lines. Yep. One. Excellent. So that halts this cavalry unit. Oh, it's because it's two? Two shots. Uh, yeah, two hits in the shooting phase. Got it. Halts the unit. You got the boo marker. Boo. I know it really should, shouldn't it? Velker, since we're over here, why don't you shoot your gun? Mm -hmm. Two dice, but you need a six. There's no shooting from square. Nothing. Ah, uh, okay. No shooting for you. I don't see a... Oh, oh, oh. Jeff, your gun. But in the movies, they do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not the scale. Yeah, I think I've got the gun over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your dice. One. Got a hit. Pew. Did this fire take place right here? This counter battery? Yes, sir. It did indeed. He missed. Velker, Velker shot. Oh. Yep. Velker shot here to here. We just grabbed it since we were over there. Oh, okay. Got okay. it. Uh, other shooting. That's normally how we do is we just go back and forth from one side to the other. Yeah. Makes sense. Instead of do one side then the other. This would have been a charge, but it cannot be, for he is halted. This is a charge. Now, the charge go back and forth. Like, does that charge take place first before my attack into the town? Because the French... Yeah, charge, yeah, it's charge, it's charge. Yeah. Okay, I'm just curious. Yeah. It just becomes part of this combat. Oh, great. Yeah. So. Yeah, that unit's probably going to depart. <laughs> there is a rule. There is a rule if you're willing to take the chance on it. Um, when you're in combat, you can uh, roll an activation to try and change formation or change facing. Um, you can do that to try and form square. But if you do that and fail, or if you make the roll and fail, then this unit becomes disordered. Eh, it's going to die anyway. It's, you know, it's your gamble. Um, Got to try. And watch the roll. It's your activation. Uh, it, it's an activation roll. So you're seasoned. So, so seasoned. Fours are better. So four. Four. Fifty, fifty chance. One, you can do it. One, one weakness, the cavalry. Oh, it's true. There it is. I do it. No, he gets Does into it. square. Form square. And this is uh, rather curious because under normal circumstances, it would then give this infantry unit a bonus against them, except for towns can only fight 2d6 per side total. There's no way to add or subtract any modifiers. So this is going to They're be not suddenly going to charge out of the buildings. This is a three yeah. to a one? Yeah, the cavalry are going to come in, hit with one, and the square is going to fight him back with two, and going to fight him back with one, and then he's going to fight with two. So this is one fight or two, though? This is one large fight. Right, and so he okay. gets two here. Two dice from the infantry right. fighting the square. Yeah. And then you've got uh, two dice plus one for the charge plus, oh no, sorry, he's in the square. One dice total for the cavalry. Right. So, it's so it's a total of three on this side. Yep. It, it'll, got... The square will fight three here and one here. Well, what about my reroll? I'll hit the D-tag. Yeah, he's going to have to roll separately for the town. Yeah, that, yeah that's... Yes. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I was wondering about. So this is 
So I, I'm still confused, though, as to how many dice the square gets. Three dice against this unit. Against the cavalry. All right, so it's one to against three. Against the cavalry. It's one to three. Yes. And three. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. Okay. And he took a hit from the cavalry, correct? Nope. No, Belkin he rolled a four. Those are conscript horse. Oh, because it's conscript. Oh, I got it. All right. So now it's then one to two? Yes. Yeah, you roll one, Dylan Nora, and he rolls two. Wow. Right. Wow. That was uh, not great rolling. There's, there's... Wow, it's a pillow fight. That... That's all right. I'll take that. I'd rather have the cavalry get hurt right there. Yeah. Right. So what happens here is the cavalry just going to back up the edge and stop. Don't make them go all the way off the table. I mean, I would tell you, yeah, bend them over this way and park over here somewhere, but just for game play, you know, simplicity. Mm -hmm. I know. Right, and they're halted. They're... And they get halted. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Boyd. They're, these guys are halted, but that's just an administrative step. Right, because they'll be out of that by the time. Yeah, because they're out of combat. Right. All right. No. Oh, dude. And now, Ron, you come at them with uh, two. That's two. That, that's, that's two. two hits. It's all they're gone. Yeah. Seasoned is four. Yep. All right. So, Velker, please roll your die to see if uh, you hold on to your flag. Oh. oh you don't. That is orange zero Alan. Yep. So his entire command, unless they're in combat, will go into retreat orders in the next movement phase. Bye, orange. Hey, view. The old uh, swing right ploy worked for the French. Yeah. See, Delanor, I told you. And he <laughs> can't have an Elan higher than five, correct? Or four? Who? This guy? Darlon, yeah. Six. Six, okay. He can go to five. He can go up to six. All right, yeah. five it is. Darlon's attack is going very well. All right. Meanwhile, Reel's over here doing, like, drill team maneuvers. <laughs> we don't know what he's doing. We're not sure. I heard that. He heard it, and he's not disagreeing with it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I think that's going to take us to the bottom. We're dazzle of the him with our uh, pre precision. All right, so we got <laughs> There is some precision there. This halt comes off. Got it. Uh, all right, next turn, six, halfway, uh, down to one, down to what? Is this down to zero now, Kellerman? No, that's down to one, too. Down I moved one. it. Got it. Yep. I got you back. Thank you. Allies, movement, uh, order changes? Yeah, I'm going to try to get my last conscripts out. Go ahead. And then orange's yeah. movement change yeah. has to be to the retreat, doesn't it? Yeah, he's got to switch to retreat. Yep. Which means all his units have to go back eight inches. Uh, the units in the um, La Haye Saint, too? Yeah, what do they have? To, they're, these, these here, Boyd, what do they do? Yeah. Since, are they part of Orange's command? They are. They are leaving. Oh, boy. So, Whoa. well, uh, yeah. Allies, my French, did you have any orders you wanted to do? Just the guard again. Just the guard again, yeah. Go for it. Yep. What's it take for, for me to put one a unit in there? Nope. Just walk them in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, 
So allies move, just reminding orange eight inches back. Hey, Boyd, I have a question in regards to these sure. orders. Okay, I come from an empire background where orders are specific. Okay, mm -hmm. once you're on an attack order, can you shift attack once, say, you know, uh, what is it? If the attack order is given towards go a certain place, and then right. that, or all of a sudden we see something familiar like what's going on here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't those, uh, could I just say, hey, I, you know, just say, okay, my, my uh, target, uh, you know, has changed and I don't have to mention it because I'm still on attack orders. I just move to what my new item is, right? Okay. So you're talking about Duralon's attack right here? Or the bows or, you know, okay. guards. So let me, should, so let me use this, this attack order as an example. So he had, let's say his attack was attack Papalette. So he is here. He has taken Papalette. However, there are enemies within eight inches. So he now has to continue to attack. If there were no enemy within eight inches, he would automatically revert to defend orders. Okay. Um, and let's now let's take a look at LeBeau. Let's say you had told LeBeau to attack this hill. And now it looks like that hill is going to be clear. What you want to do is move to this. You want to change the orders here. Unfortunately, you've got to burn the lawn because at this level, this, this, this is a bunch of battalions and every one of them's got to get the word, hey, guide left. Uh, so your lawn essentially is him sending off his entire cadre to try and stop what in essence here is like 10,000 men and take them, tell them to take a 45 degree turn and go this way. Is that what you're asking me? Uh, yes, uh, it, so it, you'd have it, to put at Empire, point, you're, right. change in, in, your gold, your target. Right. In Empire, you know, you're using couriers and scribbled notes, and you're talking about battalions moving, and it's a lot more granular. But here, the Elan is taking place of all that by, you know, creating difficulty for you. What you don't want is you don't want Rommel on the battlefield, you know, no, like... Not? Oh, I'm attacking here. They're gone. I'm going to just zoom over here. Why not? Um, because the last thing these guys heard is go over here. You know, it's it's trying to restrict you from doing um, super maneuvers. I don't know if y'all can hear my son with his snide commentary in the background. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> 12 inches for the rhino. Drop all your space wings off. Or yeah. Right? yeah. He's fixated on the rhino rush. <laughs> So will you produce the um, the Roman rules or the the uh, um, ancient rules um, through uh, Osprey too, or will you uh, publish them in a different way? Or well, I'm going to give them a shot at it if they want it. Um, if they're um, if they're interested in them, I certainly let them do it. Okay. You know this. Um, I'm. I have, I've already have Seven Years' War, American War of Independence, and Civil War variations written. Uh, they're just sitting there, and because they had just released um, Honors of War, they didn't want the Seven Years' War, and thus they didn't want um, yeah. the AWI. And Civil War, it, it's, you know, Civil War is hit or miss. Either you love it or you hate it, but there isn't anybody that's really ambivalent about it. Huh. So... Um, you know, but Romans are always fun. Everybody's got a shoebox full of Romans somewhere. For real. Uh, Jeff has more than a few. So, uh, all right. Allies, you good? I'm all good. Jeff, you good? Yes, sir, I'm good. French, please. I'm still an attack horse, but I can put somebody in. Hello. Absolutely, because you, your attack was to attack Papalette. So now that right. you're there, you're not just going to like willy nilly keep on attacking. This is what you. This was your goal. So it, he would actually have to spin in the lawn to t make them leave. Well, right, because okay. he are, right now he's on quote attack orders officially, 
but he is to attack something that he now has to defend, and it's only yeah. because there are enemies here. Yeah, he okay. has. So the, he has the objective. Okay. Yeah, it's de facto defend orders without being defend orders. I guarantee you this, that if we were to play it, the next time we play it, you're going to be writing down what your attack order means. <laughs> right. Well, mine's in my chat, so I know. Yeah, no, and I'm not saying that there's anything amiss here. We're going to use the notebooks. I, I forgot. Wait, no, it's we, not. Got, <laughs> we can use the notebooks. Well, the second thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Because then we can color code it and I can see all of them. Jeff, you could know. you mark that off so I'm four inches away from you? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna, I, I was gonna go that direction. Yep, um, oh, I got it. You yeah, go ahead yeah. and keep moving. Oh darn! I got it. Give me a second. Okay, it's right there. Thank you. Yep. Pink. Thank you. Think of beauty, joy forever. Uh oh. Oops. Yeah, there's not much you can. There's not much you can do about that. In this time. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. We can. Yes, we can. Yeah. Uh, fog of war has just covered my eyes and the simulator stopped. And it crashed. Ah. You'll come on back. We trust you. There you are. I see you coming back. This happens from time to time. If you need the invite, let me know But with the server's up. Okay. Wait for it to load. Don't try and touch anything. <laughs> Y'all can't hear any of that, right? Oh, no, 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 yeah, you you get to a certain age and your children are like, don't touch anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a lot of wounds stacking up all over the place. Let that be said. No, I can't do it. Are we are we in the French movement already? Okay, uh, I'm, I, we had technical difficulties, but just FYI, for the next time you play, these guys can't just hang loose. They're on attack orders. And they're, you know, let's assume they're attacking this ridge. They need to, like, be heading in this direction. Get them up there. Let's do it. Which guys? Draw. These reds. Well, and, and, well, the French guys already moved here. Yeah. Well, no, and, and red's yeah. been moving them. Red has been moving them. Yeah, we've been... But again, well, red yeah. has been red has been the guiltiest of the shilly shally. No, no, I'm, uh, that we will be crushing in all okay. future in all future games. Yeah, I'm not talking about the French. They're doing great. Oh. I'm talking about the Uxbridge has been given attack orders. Yeah. So in this last movement turn, he ah. should have been like fanning out and going this way, trying to get at things. And I mean, they can charge this BUA. Yeah. Well, well, see, that's the thing is that. Well, no, but, well, that was, oh, well, that's true. Yeah, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Bring him on. He can't go anywhere. Yeah, I just, it's going to be a lot more interesting battle if, you know, Uxbridge gets that cavalry going. Wait, they moved, they move after us. Yeah, but he's going now. So why are they moving right. now? Well, we're, that, we're, just, we're just doing a, uh, yeah, we're just, because of, well, he didn't know about the, the stuff. It's fine. You need to be an inch away from the BUA. Yeah. I was obliged to do things I didn't. Yeah, he was obliged to attack just like just like Lobo here is obliged to advance. Hey Valker, these guys here got point. Yeah, you gotta scooch those guys over. Yeah, scooch the Scots Grace. And they are gonna get shot. Look how nice or this over there. Are. Look how nice the Scots Grays are. Look at those. Oh, 
All right, are these these are elite cavalry? Mm -hmm. All right, just as a uh, tactical consideration, these are elite cavalry, and these guys have three. They're going to fight with two. They're going to fight with two. He's hitting on threes. He's hitting on fours. This might be a deal to just stand up here and charge this. And, you know, if you don't beat it, you're just going to bounce off eight inches, and then you can go do it again. Uh-huh. Attacking a town with cavalry. Ooh, no, that see, that's exactly what I was thinking. Do not encourage Ron to attack towns with horse. <laughs> well, they Ron? run out there and get off their horses. <laughs> Ron, no, bad. I... <laughs> well, he did it successfully. I heard it from I heard it from Zeus himself. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. I'll take your dice pre rolling privileges. That's it. You will lose your dice. And uh, technically, everybody on this field, except for the Curasse and the Hussars, are dragoons. Right. So right. they are so armed. Okay. French and good. legged. Yep. Shooting. Oops. I touched something. Hold on. Oh, no worries. French shooting. Eleanor, you know the cav. It's never get up before 12 and never attack until 3. No, that's a SARS. <laughs> that's a SARS. That's a SARS. Dragoons are and only do it. Stiff. Yeah. A SARS only do it if it's dashing. If it's not dashing, they won't even bother. Good point. <laughs> Dragoons are the working shifts. They're the guys that get it all done. Two more. Mm hmm. That's one. Oh, these guys, they can shoot out of town, right? Mm -hmm. Right, I hear them. How many dice is that? One, That's two. That's one die. One die. Mm hmm. And then these gentlemen against these guys. Mm -hmm. That's four dice. Uh, did he move up to four? Yeah, he's four inches in. Is he? Yeah, because he's... Yep. Is that three? Take three. Ooh. That's a halt maneuver. Yep. Looking around. Over here. How about over here? Oh, yeah, I'm done. Nothing there. Gun, nothing there. These guys were four inches away, I believe. Oh, mm -hmm. no, they're not. Oh, they're supposed to be four. They are? Okay. Then, then, then yeah, I, yeah, we, we, had more we than measured enough. it I out. Thought, I thought we had measured it. Yeah, yeah. We, we measured it out. We know they're four. We're saying they're four. So, uh, so, so right, I get four, four for. Dice, four dice for fours? That's halted. I said red. Thank you. Four back for four. All right, want me to shoot back? Yeah, four back, four back for four. Two. Yeah. Two hits. It's good. Okay. And my artillery can shoot him. Canister. All right. So how does canister work now? Two dice. You get both to count them count. both. Okay. But you hit you. You're oh, of all the things that those I dice accept have those been both. yours. Those oh dice my! Artillery dice. Not good down. with artillery today, there, uh, Jeff. No, no. Any other shooting? Not. I don't think so. All right. Time for charges. Not there. This is a charge. Straight at that gun. It's eight inches, but it's horse. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be good for those guns. I shouldn't think. No, not at all. Watch that. Um, it's got to be straight ahead, so they got no idea. These guys are... So what's the deal? 
Lobos boys obliged to charge because they're on attack orders. Are they within four? Yep. It's cavalry. Yep, they can charge. They'll charge the cavalry. The cavalry will just evade the charge. So they'll move off here or whatever. Okay. Oh, hang on. Um, I, am I within four inches? My infantry here should have shot at these guys too. Yeah, they should have. Yeah. So yep. I get one die. Two dice? No, one die. One die. Um, so these guys no. now is that evade necessary? Is um, cavalry can, yeah, cavalry evade the uh, charge of infantry. Okay. Uh, that... I guess you could stay there and take it if you wanted to. But it'd be a... but these guys are disordered, so they're going to be reroll. Oh, they're halted. So they're going to. Uh, what are these? They're now not elite anymore. Yeah, that's right. They're these guys are going to be hitting with five dice. These are going to be fighting with two. So Not what you I want. wouldn't do it. Yeah. All right. So, Velker, you get to go park them back there between there, eight inches. Don't take the other people's guys. Those are my guys. What do you mean? These guys here, bud. I know. I'm yeah. trying to see. I, yeah. It's got weird hitboxes. Yeah. Again with the weird hitboxes? Yeah. Hmm. It's like it's in front of them. See, I don't have that, but. All right. Eight inches, but you got to go over there to get out. There you go. Perfect. Not there. So this fight between the uh, cavalry and the artillery, this is two to what? All right, so the artillery are rolling one die. Okay. The art, um, the cavalry are rolling it's two dice mm -hmm. plus one for the charge Three. plus two fighting cavalry. Five. Or two fighting artillery. Okay, so it's five to one. What does what does what yep, the gun what the guns hit on? The guns hit on five. Fives. Okay. So five dice. Both of you hitting on. So five dice hitting on fives. One die hitting on fives. Oh, that was a six. I rolled Two and nothing. All right. So the gun's destroyed. Okay. Did no damage. So we need an Elan roll there. Yeah. Ooh, that, that's a flag. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's an artillery. Dalinar. Oh, he, he died. The Elan was saved. Saves the Elan. And these guys come forward. Now, this cavalry. This cavalry would normally go forward, except for there's a special rule that cavalry that destroy guns do not follow up charge. Ah. They do not have a, a second charge. They're not that excited. They're spiking and hauling the guns off. Yeah. The guns. yeah, the guns are more valuable than anything else. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. No other melees that I see. Um, doesn't he have a charge over here? Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he has yeah. a charge, yeah. Well, yeah, that's because he gets to charge you. You don't get to counter charge because you're all halted and stuff. Yeah. And I believe if my math is correct, this is five to four because he's charging. Right. Isn't he disordered because of his halt? Oh, yeah. The Brunswickers? The Brunswickers no. only just don't get to counter charge you. Yeah. And okay, they're yeah, just, halted, just halted. Not halted and disordered. Okay. They're not disordered. They're not disordered yet. They're not disordered. There's halt, there's halt, halt, and then there's disorder. Yeah. That's what I said. I said they're not halted yep. and disordered. They're just dis, They're just halted. Right. Yep. Oh, correct. The four dice. Dis I apologize, Red. Yeah. So five to four. Need Come four. on, Red. Kill him. One hit. One hit. Oh. One hit to one Better hit. Fight. Yeah. But that means that uh, these guys are no longer seasoned. No so we fight again. Well, you ask a lot of them. Conscript. Do we? 
No, you we fight, fight next, again. You fight next turn. Okay. Okay. All right. I believe that's it. We good? Yes, sir. Turn seven. Allied order changes. Any? Oh, we get our cavalry. These counters come off. These cav. Counters come off. Order them as you will. I got you, Jim. Thank you. Uh, my uh, I'm trying to get to my get? last sure. conscripts. They just are not interested in. <laughs> nope. Still ain't. They're gonna stand there. They're just gonna stand there. French advance or not? Any other orders? Any other orders? Well, the Duke of Cumberland. There must be French speaking militia commanders. Um, does this halted come off of this cavalry? It does. It's not in combat. Yes. Okay. Dylan, or I need one too. We're here. You want the this same one does as well. Where's that? Yeah. Is this guy not in combat? Oh, you're right. He is. A yeah, yeah, yeah. I stay halted. Yeah, yeah come put a visa. Definitely. Yeah. All right, allies, show your moves. Velker, you got to do something crazy and aggressive over here. Do something nuts. Yeah, the, the French need to stop and think, don't they? Nope, not at all. <laughs> no such plan, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Me stay an inch away from the BOA. Inch from the BOA, bud. You don't want to go there anyway. You're going to get shot. He can, he can actually come over here, turn, and be like eight inches away and still be threatening. Yeah, he, well, no, you can back all the way out of his range. I, I, yeah. So... It's like right there. So pop over here, turn 90 degrees. There you go. Well, you're only going to hit one. Oh, that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, you're in good shape for that. Depending on what he does, of course. But you're doing much threat. So what's he obligated to do? This unit, yeah, um, he is obligated to continue to attack, but he's already within the interaction zone. Mm -hmm. So his two options are to stay there and then charge or back up. But of course, Got this it. unit is now getting in the way. That's right. Well, and I, I, I don't think he, he wants really, him to go anywhere. Yeah, he can't really go forward. And here, you're already in good shape to. Yeah, what is the obligation there. also with the guys who are withdrawing? They just continue to move on. Once they exit the board, they exit the board. Okay, so that's it. Wait, no, Alon changes hand. Is there a way to stop that? Yes. If, say, one of these, say the, the Nassau troops were in combat and they won it and they got an, uh, and they won the Alon roll, mm -hmm. then Orange would have gained an Alon and everybody would have stopped and uh, reverted to defend orders right there. But other than that. Yeah. Other than that, they're just they're too go. close to the edge of the board. They're just going to go. Okay, yeah, got it. Orange is a weak link, and he really has to be very careful, as you can see. Yeah. Yep. Orange. All right. Question: Is there like an emergency square I could do? Like, say if I like I might I decide to move, and then he charges. Can I do an emergency square? That's the order it's deal, an or no? Yeah. Yeah. What you can do is. Um, in the shooting phase, you can not shoot and form square, or you can gamble and then get within four inches and shoot, knowing that if you don't halt him, he's going to charge, and then you roll, you know, take a, a chance on forming square by an activation roll. Like the gamble. I mean, yeah. oh, that's good. Yeah. I'll figure something out. I think that was I think that was the winning move for Bumville 2 last week. It was. 
I gave the advice to shoot first, and that was it. Didn't work. <laughs> no, it did not. <laughs> Allies done. Yes, sir. French, please. Ah, uh, the gambler. I'm a gambling man. It usually doesn't work with when I'm doing cavalry, but I guess cavalry, let's see. Jeff. Yes, sir. Did you measure off uh, more from these uh, reserve conscripts? Yes, that would be my pleasure. For sure. Let me go to my line and. There you go. Wire them up and put them out. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, Red, don't move them as a group like that because you're going to steal way too much movement by these far guys. But that's what I was trying for. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it would be simple. <laughs> okay, no problem. Where's this move? How much? Horses in what formation? Eight inches. Is it eight? It's, no, it's eight and eight. And Kahlo. Eight and eight. eight, 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 eight. That's close enough. Sorry about that. Jim, I liked uh, what your wife did for the. Uh... Oh, for the logo. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's fancy. I finally, I'm. I've been watching the chat, but I haven't watched uh, the uh, video. I'm... Oh, that is nice. I didn't notice that before. That's pretty cool. And as ever, she designed the map we're playing over. So. All right. French good? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Gunnery. French. Four. Here. Ron will start here with four for seasoned. Three. Four hits. Oh, three hits. Sorry. That's a halt. Ouch.
four for th four for fours. One. <laughs> Two. One. Four. That holds him. Not yet, it hasn't. Yeah, he took hit. Two, yeah, it's it's two for shooting. It's not three. I keep thinking it's three. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh God! That's four. Excellent. The Valley of Death. All right, so that's going to be uh, disorder and a waiver test for this unit. Does he test? At, yeah, well, it's, he's, he tests his conscript. So. Yeah, I would do it right now yep. before we forget it. One die, Velker. You need that five. Okay, Velker. That's a low number. Oh, no. And the Dutch say, nope, we're done. So, <laughs> that's an Milan roll. They're, this unit's now gone. Okay. They they ran off. Because uh, they, they took so much damage on that one shot that they headed off. So, that's an Milan check for you, Velker? Nope. Oops. Uxbridge takes, loses one. And who would get it? Labau or? Ux and it would go this, down you'll, this unit will shoot into this unit. No, no. Who gets the Elan? Um, Uxbridge, uh, who did the, who's this one to? Lebo. No. So it's the last one to do it? Well, it's whoever did the most. I mean, it's. Okay, it's whoever did six the one, six 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 six. Then, Yeah, then it would be low. Yeah. Yep. Heck, just didn't feel low. Six. Total of six. Rather nice. All right. This unit will shoot into this unit. Yep. Straight ahead. That's the closest one. Four. Four dice. Ah, one hit. One. Shoot from square. Oh, she's square. Now I can't shoot. shoot from square. Square, no, get the All shot. All right, uh, Velker, your gun. Two dice. You got shooting from this into here. One. Yeah, I know. You have I'm, I'm shooting here. We're just, we're just kind of making our way okay. down. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No worries. Lost track. I get one die, right? Yep. Nothing there. How about here? No. There, no. But here. No. Uh, my gun. Yeah. My gun, and then we exchange oh, yes. fire there. Okay, Jeff, this gun here, over here. Mm hmm. And you have your gun too, right, Red? Yes. Oh, that's right. Yep. Hey, I do hit. One hit. Red, your yes, gun. gun. On fire. that gun, you need sixes. That's two, correct? And correct. Then the, mm -hmm. it's the, two looking for sixes. Two. Yes, sir. Excuse, excuse me there. Nothing. Oh, six. Oh, that is a six. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got it. The yeah, font, you got it. confused me. Sorry about that. Mm. Nice shot. Yeah. Is this four inches? Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna exchange so fire there. The, uh, the French for two. He's four. He needs fours. I need fives. Right. Two each way. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nice, oh. Nice, Fred. And, and he takes one. Mm -hmm. Good shooting, guys. Good honest shooting. Yep. All right. So there's all that. The shooting halted, correct? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> No counter charge for you. Looking around. I'm that. defensive. Uh, do I get a, it under normal conditions? Would I get a counter charge? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, you being conscript, you'd have to roll for it. Right. But okay. it, being uh -huh. uh, being uh, even to charge, you'd have to roll. But a counter charge, everybody rolls. Okay. All right. Let's figure out those charges. 
Velker's halted here. He is did this halted. you? He is not halted. Did this ever shoot into the flank of this yes, thing? It did. It missed. Okay. Yeah, I missed. I missed it. So uh, you you got to go. Into this that, will go here. Into that square. Bonk. This will go here. And you got to conform, Velker. So put yourself probably over on that side. Yeah, he just come in right here on this there. there you go. Okay. Just like that. And this felt this no, unit will go in rolling. Here. Ron, rolling. Gonna, rolling. I, I know what Roll. you're doing. Yeah, yeah. You best, you best yep. try. <laughs> Gets there is it. no try. There is only do. <laughs> Velker, come on in and conform. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. I'm telling you. <laughs> try not to tell anybody. A guy That's can secret. only lose to Opal Cheney so much. <laughs> <laughs> really? But Ron, you're doing really? good here. Uh, I'm we, sorry, we're, you're I'm doing sorry, really, really good. Shot? At who? Oh, yeah. For sure. That's that's no loss. Now, who's closest? Wait, because there was, was a cavalry. Here. There was a cavalry unit right there. Yeah, that's... The it's gone now. No, he wasn't there. No, I think that was over. No, the one that the one that got killed. Oh, the one that got killed. Yeah, remember? Yeah. yeah. That's why he didn't have a shot. Is because that guy got slaughtered during the the fire phase. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't have a shot. Yeah. He well, he would have if that unit wasn't there. Uh, Red, you've got a charge here, I assume. Well, you have to. You're attacking. So. Yep. In you go. Yes, you would move that. Happy. Yeah. Thank oh, okay. Yeah. Vive l'Empereur! Vive l'Empereur! Sounds like the very hounds of hell. All right. As long uh, as it's not Delanor. French, where do you want to start? It's up to you. <laughs> uh, let's do what we've been doing. It's been good luck so far. Start on this side. All right. Let's go with the square. So okay, if I recall wait, wait, wait. Time out. I have a question. All right, time yeah. out. Time out. question. What's up? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the Erlo's on... Uh, attack orders, correct? Yeah. Okay, so therefore, wouldn't he attack this cavalry like we did before? He could, but technically, he is attacking this town, so no, it, he can he can up right. He can up not to charge here unless he wants to. Which so de facto, he's gone to a defense order. Even though it's he still has not Oh, I can okay. charge him. That's right. Right. Can I? Yeah, you could. All he's doing now is, and, and all he'll do is evade you. But you could. True. I just leave him. Let's yeah, just... you actually want him to sit there and shoot at him again. Yeah, I was gonna say that's <laughs> real, that that is the better of the moves. Uh, so we'll go with the square. Yeah, so that's three horse to gets one. the square, or square gets the horse. Three to one. And Velker hits. Two to one. Cavalry bounces eight. Boy, Bilker in his old and, old age has gotten quiet. And then, uh, do they get since they got two hits on that? Do they get a halt order or no? No, that's only from shooting. Okay. Yeah, That's they're right. halted, but it's just a it's just a um, administrative step because it'll come off the beginning of next turn. All right, because it's still not in combat, correct? Uh, so this is another right. three to one. And a kill. Uxbridge checks. Eleanor, I award you the legion. There is a uh, <laughs> that those colors do not fall. But that is the, uh, the oof, that's that's harsh. Leaving only the Scots Grays. And the squares are quite simple. Well, actually, isn't that Unexbridge? So he yes. has zero, he has zero along. No, but he doesn't lose his banner. He saved the colors. Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, that's right. That's right. Save the colors. 
Save the colors. Okay, so this works the same thing with Cav. Now that one of Uxbridge's units ran off and he's Elon is zero. It is not. That's the point. The Elon only drops if he loses his colors. Ah, uh, okay. That's the rolling of the colors. Yeah, that's now. I, oh, I get this now. That's pretty cool. I like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here we are. Uh, four, this is five to four. Why is it five? Well, I still did, get the charging he's bonus. Because no. he's yeah. You don't four to four. He, yeah, it's four well, to four I here. Don't, I don't oh, get he, the bonus. only horse gets that plus one. No, yeah. only on your initial charge. Oh, you that's you get the additional yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah, he bad. needs fives. I need fours. Yeah. No. Actually, they I both need, need fives. Yeah, because well, remember I'm... you're down one. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, we're both down one. Oh yeah. But, Why okay. am I down one? Because you're you're at four. Oh, it's only at five. Yeah. Well, yeah. Matter, yeah. He needs fours. He needs fives. Yeah. So yeah. he hit for nothing. The French need fives. Yeah. And you hit for one. And uh, hit one. Continue. Oh no, this is an eight. That's an eight. Is that a bounce? With just one hit? No. Okay. Infantry stay locked in combat. They need to do three hits in a single turn to push back and to recoil the unit. Fight continues. All right, so this two one two is two three here. to two. Yeah, three to yep. two, and I need fives. And he needs fours. Yep. One. Nothing. Grind. Fight. 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 Uh, these guys, however, I do, I forgot I have to decrement or did I decrement them? Yeah, they're not conscript. They start, they start as, so they're fine. Did decrement them. All the melees, we good? Mm-hmm. Yep. Turn eight, getting to it. Allied order changes. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to try to get those, um, release the guard. Yeah, I'm going to try. All right. I'm going to try to get my... Uh, Go ahead. Conscripts. Nope. nope. How about the guard? Yeah, just... Wait, All right, it's turn, turn eight. eight. It's turn eight. It's You're right. Away they go. All right, yep. so now you have the guard there, Red. Except, the guard, except, right, except for the cannons, because they're part of um, Lobals. Yep. yep. So you do How about the get... guard horse? That too, right? Yep. Yep, so you, you have all these three. Uh, I'll give you an order. Okay, I have a question. At this point of the battle, the allies are very, very damaged. Mm -hmm. There is no cutoff point to where they've reached their percentage. Yes, there is. Um, you've lost one core. Um, you're in danger of losing another one. Once you lose um, a certain number of core, which in this particular battle, let me go and look it up. You're going to um, have to start rolling, and I thought you were going to have to start rolling this turn because Uxbridge was taking it on the chin, but he rolled out of it with saving the colors. So, take a look and see how many you've got. We got four cores on the Allied side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so, they, um, they, the the one the reserve is under the command of the. Uh, Wellington, I'm assuming that's treated as a, um, a core. Well, we're only we're only looking at a lawn bearing core. That's the other. Okay, that's the other hand. Then. There's only yeah. three. So you've lost a third. But here's the here's the um, the two. Well, there's three ways. The predetermined turn, which we're not going to worry about that, uh, because I don't know that we'll go the full turns. No. And then uh, it. At any time, one side has twice as many Elan as the opponent, the game ends immediately as a respectable victory. At any time, one side's total Elan is zero, the other side gains a strategic victory. Yeah, it's, it's about losing Elan, ultimately. Seven. Yes. Ten. We're, we've only got five. Yeah, the game's over. 
It's 10 yep, to 5. that's it. It's 10 to 5 right now. Yep. Wait, that's only respected yep. victory. We want a complete victory. Hold on. <laughs> no, that's it. So, just to be clear, because we were doing a lot of back and forth talking, because the Elan of the French stands at 10, and remember, one of the key pieces of that is Derlon, particularly. Big salute to him, who has raised his Elan to 5, and to Lobau, who has raised his Elan to 5. It's actually more than that. It's 5, 10, 13... 16 and the yeah. the allies it, have a lot less than that so um so there and it's a, it's really tough it's really tough for the british player and uh i'll tell you a couple of the uh, a couple of games that we've played the where the british have won is they have instead of doing this right here they've done this up on this hill which gives you a uh, combat advantage as well as a, a advantage against enemy shooting and then staying behind this line so that the French have to actually get up to within canister range, and then you just smack them. Okay. But this, uh, I've got to say, this is the first time I've ever seen the, um, you know, the wide right play, the papillette. So hats off. <laughs> Woo uh, there it is. I, I've never seen that before in a game. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Velker had some really bad rolls at the wrong time for real yeah and that's the other thing is um he played like a pure dutchman uh sorry to my friends from the netherlands but he did roll poorly uh in a couple of occasions there so uh, especially the second popular. time someone says something they see something first that we've done freaking leipzig first time it lasted three days yeah you're right mm. this one all right. Well, that is yeah. well. So that is, gentlemen. By the way, I did go in and get a close-up shot of our Brunswickers. For uh, somebody in the chat said that they liked our Brunswick figures. Well, they're certainly not mine. They're James Manhattan's in the TTS workshop. Go check them out. Well, this is. Uh... Thanks, Potbellied Slim. Great, great to have you by. Thanks for watching. Uh, so that's it. Let's see how quick do we bring it in. Look at that, exactly three hours, but there was obviously a whole lot of talking, mm -hmm. a whole lot of chatting. The entire Battle of Waterloo brought to you, I'm gonna say in two hours and 15 minutes. Not too bad, I would say. Definitely have to buy the rules. Yeah. And no questions. Yes. So uh, yeah, everybody, you know, uh, go out there, check them out. They are available. They're on their second printing through Osprey Publishing. Uh, obviously, I wanna say a huge thanks to Bruce Boyd for coming to join us again. Um, I hope every hey, love it. Yeah, thank you for for helping us step through this. And it's, uh, really I, I really appreciate you guys inviting me. I, and uh, I, you know, half the time I was so absorbed in watching the game, I forgot I was supposed to be here for a reason. <laughs> 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 and uh, well, we're we're so glad to have you. Yeah, and uh, a big yeah, yes. I appreciate it. A big shout out to um, everybody who watched. Thanks to the players. Congratulations to the French. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit happy that the first game of Waterloo Week falls to the Emperor. Uh, we've got a lot coming up. This is Waterloo Week. Tomorrow, it is sharp practice. Uh, Wacht am Sambre for uh, Thursday Night Throwdown. Friday, 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 something special. Check it out. Come and join us. You'll see. And then Saturday, I've got two games. Uh, stepping out of Waterloo Week for just a minute. At noon on Saturday, I know Jeff is playing. We're going to be playing a cannonball, the Cannonball Run for Two Fat Lardies, What a Tanker. But at 7 o'clock Central Time, our usual slot, we're going to play uh, Darlon's Assault. Speaking of Darlon, who was one of the heroes of today's battle, Darlon's Assault uh, for <laughs> La Salle 2 uh, with all the skirmish dice on the freaking planet. Are you ready for the fountain <laughs> of skirmish dice? You better be. That's true. going to be insane. You yeah, gotta I, break the game doing that. I, I think. I mean, we get a full table for that, Jim. I, yeah, you know what? I should, shouldn't I? I should set up a separate table. Just, I think seriously that it is sixty-one <laughs> skirmish dice. I rolled over a thousand. <laughs> Bucket of dice. Yeah. Can six... I recommend that we divide that by ten? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have die rollers. We just watch them pour dice all over the place. But uh, thanks, to the players. With thanks to the viewers. Check it out. Thank you so much. 
and I uh, hope you, you know, really great to see everybody on a, uh, on a Wednesday night and uh, really a pleasure.